Hi, Keelan. Hi, Chip. Man, you guys came in at the same time. Hello. Hi, guys. Can we get some yo's? Who is excited for Peace Lock Type 1? Hi, Kobobo! I have no work today. Let's go! You better be in chat the whole day, Chip. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Early stream is crazy? Yeah. Um, I wanted to get more hours in. You know, I took the weekend off. We'll talk about it. Big drama. Recent emojis is the fish emoji. When did I use a fish? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it was for the Valentine's Day stream, for the Hawaii stream. Because right before the fish is a shark. <laughs> Hi, Ethan. You're not first. You're a liar. And you know what I think about liars, right? I think they're pretty cool. Man, th this is like a rare. Ethan coming in within the first five minutes of stream, that's crazy. I just imagine using that emoji in a conversation. I know, I was like, when did I use a fish? Maybe like texting your mother? But otherwise, I can't think of anything like reasonable. Um, guys, new YouTube video. Click the link, go watch it later. I tried drawing Pokemon from memory. Go watch it later. I'm so excited for today. I have faith, trust, and pixie dust for the third gen. <laughs> Thank you for the resum, Kobobo. <laughs> Seven ads? I know. I'm sorry. Can we get some Wobobos in chat? Well, thank you for the resum. 20 months, you're so close to two years, man. The only reason why it's so many ads is because I either do a minute 30 every 30 or three minutes every hour. And three minutes, that's like time for you to use the bathroom. So, my my opinion is less interruptions, more dubs. <laughs> Seven ads? You know what, next time I'll do six minutes. Just to say fuck you, Kobobo. Wait, I swore the first five minutes! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, can you guys hear this? <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> That's the little metal clip on my clipboard. Is that- Wait, imagine I'm holding keys in front of the camera. <laughs> I'm used to other stri- I dropped the clipboard. I hate my disability. I'm used to other streamers having only two, but that's because- but then you get more ads throughout the stream, then they get interrupted more. You could just say, I'm special. Okay, face cam on in... 3, 2, 1. Yo, hello, good morning. Good afternoon, early stream? Early stream? It is currently 9.57am on Monday? March? March 25th, guys. Wait, your prime sub counted? No, it counted towards the time. <laughs> it counted towards the sub goal. Oh no. 
That's so- I forgot. Prime subs count. Shit. Guys, don't subscribe. <laughs> w. Also, look at this shiner. It's finally popping up. How do I get rid of acne? Somebody please send me, like, the proper routine. It's getting annoying. I'm- I'm almost 25. Holy shit. <laughs> but we had Ethan, Keelan, Golbobo, and Chip in the starting soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. Thank you. Thank you. Where was I this weekend? You know what I did this weekend? <laughs> okay. So, some of you guys- wait, do I still have a picture? Wait, pause. So you guys can see it. Image? I think I deleted the picture. Oh, I still have it. Look at this. So, last week I told you guys that I got this achievement on Twitch, because when you're an affiliate or a partner, there are things you can grind for. And... I've been streaming for almost three years, and I finally got this. It's streamed 25 days within the past 30 days. So that means this past calendar month, I've taken less than six days off. Like a traditional job, you get eight days off because four weeks, two days a week, right? So I was thinking, I was like, that's really good that I've been streaming more, but also that's like so bad for like mental health. I was like, you know, I'm gonna take the weekend off. And you know what I did? <laughs> I no! Guys, I'm never streaming again. Dude, I hate this stupid capture card. I streamed? No, I did not. I did stream on Friday. I played Poke Park for the fans. Okay, I'm fixing the camera. Classic piece in the stream. The camera doesn't fucking work. Oh no, I've sworn twice today. Is that bad? Is that bad? Did I get the Princess Peach game? I also forgot. Oh, wait, I'm back. Hello. Let me finish my little story, and then we'll talk about that. So, I played, no joke, like, probably 10 hours of Supermarket Simulator. My store is, like, 75% upgraded. I want to, like, get my store fully upgraded. But my store looks poppin' is banging. And then I edited, and then I worked with my sister on art stuff. So, I, I cleaned out my room, because I have, like, another desk. So, I moved that desk into, like, a little cubby we have in the hallway. So, now she has, like, a little art station because her room is very small and then she and I are working on art in the background obviously I'm going to be relaunching my art website in April because you guys know I had to stop selling because disability but I'm getting rid of disability benefits so guys check out the website I'm gonna start blogging in April so click the link bookmark that page I'm gonna start blogging in April slash May the shop officially turns one on like April 25th or 26th. So I gotta actually look at the first day for the stream. But yeah. So I worked on that this weekend. And then... Yeah, that was it. I just played game. I did art. And then I'm here today. It's Monday, guys. And then I also forgot that the new Princess Peach game came out on Friday. I'm debating if I want to play it. All the reviews say it's easy and they hate it because there's no Mario. So guys, do you want me to play it on stream? Type 1. I, I want to genuinely know. Okay, type 1 only if you're going to actually watch the stream or the VOD. Because it's like 60 bucks. And my sister doesn't want to buy it. So you know, that's coming out of my paycheck. It's easy, perfect for you. Shut up. I have more of my protein shake. It looks like eggnog. Oh, I also did my nails on Saturday. I already chipped one of them. I chipped the middle finger, but I'm not gonna flip you off. Don't worry. I have been trying to avoid spoilers for the game. So I haven't, like, seen any gameplay. What else? What else? I'll, I'll think. Well, either way, we're not gonna play the Peach game until I get my March payout. Because, you know, you guys did a lot of sleep. Okay, for transparency, this is how many subs I have right now. I have 63 subs. Holy shit. We don't have the total on screen for now because peace lock, but I have a lot of subs. Thank you, gifters. You guys can see the top gifters here. So I'll be able to buy the Princess Peach game in mid-April. Hi, Wheel. Can we get some yos? I played the Peach game over the weekend. I had way too much fun. Wait, is that like... Are you ashamed of having fun playing the game? Is that what you mean? <laughs> I mean, it's a girl game, right? <laughs> April is pretty mid. <gasps> How could you see that? My birthday's in Ethan. You should know that. How long have you been following? 
You even fo- Wait, you followed like the day before my birthday. What the freak? I play the demo and it's okay. I haven't played the demo yet either. I'm gonna play the demo with my sister. Also, this is like hair drying for an hour. <clears throat> Happy birthday, I guess. Thank you. I can play the princess game. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> my birthday is not mid. Wait, when is your birthday, Chip? Are we twins? Is there anything I need to address? Any drama? April 25th? Wait, it's the day after. That's crazy. That's also my friend's birthday. It's the sock guy. What else? What else? Remind me and I'll tell you happy birthday on your birthday, Chip. Wait, I might take... I don't know, because for my birthday this year, I'm going to do another 12-hour stream. So it'll probably be, probably be like... From 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. again. That's the plan. The plan is simple. So I might take the next day off. I don't know. We'll think about it. Oh, maybe, Chip, I'll press go live for five minutes, wish you happy birthday, and click entry. That's what I'll do. <laughs> okay, okay. Anything else? Oh, I changed the camera angle. You can see the paintings are a bit lower. It's mainly because, like, I looked up this one posture thing, because, you know, I got the... Everybody has the hump neck. Because, you know, we're looking at our phones all day. So, apparently, I've had my chair too high. Because, I don't know, I just like feeling tall. So, I lowered my chair by, like, six inches. So, that way my screen is... Because my screen, instead of being here, it's, like, here. It's, like, three inches lower than, than where it needs to be. But that's because my desk is high. Um, so I changed my camera angle. I'm gonna look different. Okay, anything else? Oh, whoever makes the top clip of the day gets their clip posted on Twitter, and I thank you the next day. Guys, clip the stream. Okay, turn the music off. Let's play the freaking game. We stalled for ten minutes. Mute. Okay. Who is ready for Peace Lock Day 7 Type 1? Wait, say hi, YouTube. Actually, say hi, YouTube. Okay. It is day seven of the Peace Lock 2024. I was able to charge my GBA over the weekend. I did take a two day break, but you know what? I'm here today. So the last time we did Peace Lock, day six, I went through Slateport City. I tried the battle gym. It was pretty cool and epic. And then we made our way to Mauville City, where I almost got my ass beat by Brendan. But you know what? Shroomish hard carried the team. So Peace Lock day seven, the plan is simple. We're going to be leveling out my Pokemon for the Mauville Gym. Now, the little clue said it was electric type. So I'm going to get as many ground Pokemon as I can. And also, I didn't realize there's like three new routes that I need to explore that are, that are right by Mauville City. So we're going to do that as well. We're going to catch as many Pokemon as we can. And then once we get as many Pokemon from the neighboring routes, then we're going to level up my ground Pokemon. And hopefully by the end of the day, I can beat the third gym. And be what? A little less than halfway through the game? After... I'm looking at my live splits. 44 hours. <laughs> I charged a GBA that takes batteries. It's my... Listen to this. It's fake. I admitted it! Okay, let's play the game. Who's ready for Pokemon? I only mute the music during the intro because I don't want to screw my editors. Which is going to be me. And we are, we're back in, everybody. Man, it's been so long since I've, like, used my fingers this way. Okay. No, I did not yawn because I'm bored. I'm yawn because I'm tired. Oh, I feel like I'm getting old. Yesterday, it was, like, 60 degrees outside. And then this morning, it's, like, literally 40. So I w I'm, like, shivering right now. Who's that Pokemon? Your mother. Okay. Live splits. Oops. And we're in, everybody. So, last time we ended off in Marvel City. <laughs> KO predictions? <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna lose a Pokemon when I'm grinding, okay? I'm only gonna lose a Pokemon in the gym. So, I did say I wanna explore the neighboring routes. I don't know- wait, I need to check my party. I don't know what, like- level they're at. That's that's why I was scared the last time to explore. But my Combuskin is 22. Um, Alakazam? 
I almost said Kabutops. Alakazam- I think he's got- I don't know, I don't know. Alakazam and the third evolution, they're the same to me. Level 20 and level 23. So I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm gonna explore a little bit. Thank you for the antidotes, Nazzy. Oh! Okay. Wait, there's a Pikachu! Why are they all babies? It says you. Oh. Wait, is there no Pokemon here? I remember I planted the berries. Ooh, there is a grass patch. Saved. Now, I have yet to see any of the Pokemon in 117. Poochie in a level 14. So they're about the same level as the route that I was grinding in last time. I do wonder if there's any new ones. And right now I'm focusing on leveling up my Geodude because it is ground type. I think Geodude was level 15. For this next gym, I need to get my Pokemon to level 23 to 25. So about the same amount of XP, okay. Oddish. Level 13. Yeah, so they're about the same level. Okay, I was, like, scared they were gonna be, like, level 18, and I was gonna be, like, shaking in my boots. Also, I would like to reiterate, yesterday on day- or not yesterday. Day 6? I didn't lose a single Pokemon. Sweet scent? My evasiveness fell. Well, you know what? To retaliate, Ember, you're gonna die. At least this gym isn't as bad as the last one. Yeah, I think somebody chat and then also I read online that most players will skip the second gym and just go straight to the third one. Which I think is cheating. I like linear storylines. I've never skipped. Skipping is for babies. Yeah, but it's still peace playing. Shut up! Shut up! At least... At least I know that ground type is strong against electric because they're immune. At least I know that this time. No, but like for real, how are you supposed to know what's strong against fighting? I mean, we're almost 45 hours in. We're closer to 44, mind you. Learn, go back to school. <laughs> Sakura to level 16. Ooh, so I was trying to learn Magnitude. Let's see what that is. Magnitude, a ground-shaking attack of random intensity. Ooh, he causes earthquakes. That's pretty metal. Rock throw. Throw small rocks to strike the foe. Mud sport. Covers the user in mud to raise electrical resistance. Wait, what? Covers the user in mud to raise electrical resistance. Okay, covers the user. Me? I, okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, I thought... <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. I thought that I was immune to electricity. Uh oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna get rid of tackle. Because I don't need a normal move type. Okay, can somebody confirm? Isn't ground immune to electricity? By user, it means your team side. So if you switch out the effect, it's still there. Okay, okay, that's what you assumed? Like for the team battles, right? Okay. Okay. We good. We good. That scared me. I was like, <laughs> is my plan foiled already? Oddish. Did imagine? I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> what if I have it backwards? Maybe ground is weak against electric and then water is 
strong. No, that can't be right. You know, I learned color theory, not fighting theory. I always advocate for peace, not war. Okay, no new Pokemon yet? That's kind of an L. I want more ground Pokemon. Okay, I'm gonna look up which Pokemon are in this route. Hi, Electro. Can we get some Yo's? Hello. Sorry, my most recent Google search on this phone is grills. You know, like the teeth. Which I'm not gonna get, don't worry. Okay, Route 117. Kuchiana, Meryl, Oddish, C Dot, <gasps> Illumise, and Volbeat. I have literally never heard of either of those Pokemon, but I want them. This walkthrough says Illumise and Volbeat are both really bad. They've got no upsides, literally none. Don't use them. <laughs> well, I still want them. Okay, we'll leave. We'll leave this area whenever I catch the two Pokemon. Or if Geodude levels up to 23. Or 25. So Grills are a sub goal then. Um. Honestly, like half my teeth are ceramic. So I might as well just swap them out for Grills, right? They have low odds. I don't know. This walkthrough doesn't tell me the percentage odds. I wish it would. If you guys want to look it up, you can. But either way, the, these Pokemon are the same level as Route 113, I think it was. The one where Brendan was on. So we'll, it's fine if we grind here. Yeah, so like, half my teeth are ceramic. They're like, most of my back teeth are ceramic because I had really bad cavities in, in elementary. Because I just hated brushing my teeth. I've told this story before, but it's because my dad, he would like, check our toothbrushes to see if they were wet. And if they were dry, or not wet enough, because my sister and I, we would just like, dip the brushes in water, and say we brushed our teeth. It's because we both had sensory issues, we just didn't like, know. Or like, how to communicate it. So our dad would like, forcibly brush our teeth until our gums bled. Um, guys, that is called... Neglect. So if your parent does that, tell somebody. Anyway, so because of that, I didn't like brush my teeth. So by the time I got to sixth grade, I had like six cavities. <laughs> so I had to get them all ceramic filled. Anyway, so I take a lot better care of my teeth now. They're not super white, but you know what? I wouldn't mind some grills. SarahB.net has route data info. Okay, thank you. I actually, I'll pull it up. Because I will forget. <laughs> A new tab. Cavities on a stick? <laughs> oh, I, I was confused. I didn't see the emojis. Imagine I pull up SarahB.net and it's like a... A Bitcoin mining website? What the hell? Databases. Oh my god. Okay, I'm confused. I'll look at that website later. <laughs> I got overwhelmed. I clicked on the menu button and there was like, no joke, like a hundred subsections. It's just Google the route time Cerebi. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Oh my god, Combustion grew to level 23. I need to get my Pokemon to level 25 for this gym. Because I think the Pokemon, because the gyms are in increasing by levels of 5. So the last gym was like level... 
It was like level 18, so then that means this gym is probably going to be level 20 to 25. I don't think I'll be using Combuskin in this fight, but I'll probably need him for the next gym. Maybe? I don't know. Possibly? <laughs> Do I have XP share? Yes. Right now, um, Geodude has the XP share. Hello, Peason. It's Amy. I challenged somebody else after you. I came close, but I ended up losing. Oh well. <laughs> Dude, Amy's literally sympathy farming. Wait, what? The Lumis. Okay, I've seen this in the anime, but I, I don't know what type this is at all. Okay, it's gotta be Bug. Okay, Combuskin. Do not kill. Good job. Was caught. Illumis, Firefly Pokemon. A nocturnal Pokemon that becomes active upon nightfall. It leads a Volbeat swarm to draw patterns in the night sky. Over 200 different patterns have been confirmed. Our first catch of the day, everybody, in Illumis. Illumi. Illumi. I was gonna say Looney, but I don't think I can say that word anymore. Illumines. Mees. <laughs> I don't- Illumines? Illumines. You aren't gonna like this? Wait, what? Drama? We'll do me. We have we and me. Everybody welcome me to the team. Okay, we gotta add Illumis to our list. Wait, what am I not gonna like? I'm scared. Volbeat 1%? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're gonna be here all day. 1% it's just like seed on all over again. Look at my list of Pokemon. I have so many. I almost I'm gonna have to flip my notebook paper. 1% Volby? <laughs> okay, if I can catch a seed out twice in one run, or not catch, encounter. Then you know what? I think I can find a Volby. I also I need to go back and get Sableye. We just left him in the cave to rot and die. But if you want to stick around for the ride to catch Volbeat, guys, click the follow button now, turn that heart button purple, you get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? Because, you know, we're 30 minutes in the stream. Oh my god, a Volbeat! <laughs> Imagine. Wait, fighting is strong against dark? What? I guess you can win against evil. Okay, I guess we're just gonna be in Poochiana Hell once again. I guess Poochiana is this game's Pidgey. Am I wrong? Sag grew to level 17. My favorite number. Okay, truly this XP share is crazy. Meryl? I really hope... I really...
really hope at some point I can run into an Azumarill. That way we can have Mary back. That would be so sick. Oh wait, I'm weak against water. Double kick. You know, I could probably do the fight now. Yeah, I got Combustion, Bra, and Ralph. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna fight this guy. I'm in the middle of a triathlon, but whatever. Let's have a battle. Triathlete Dylan would like to battle. A Doe Duo, level 17. I love how the sprite for Doe Duo looks spiky. Okay, Doe Duo is normal. Normal is weak against fighting. I remember that from the second gym. Die. Yes, I do think I have the faster tech speed enabled, but either way, I, I like, skip through it, so... 174 XP! Holy! You defeated Triathlete Dylan. I ran out of energy! You got 680 Poké Dollars for winning. Pokémon have to be strong, too! I'd like you to train me! You registered Triathlete Dylan in the Pokénav. Oh, I- I don't have the fast text <laughs> I thought I- wait, I think I changed it in attempt number three. <laughs> Oopsie, may all be day. I'm gonna fight you. I left my Pokemon at the daycare. When I got it back, it had a new move that I didn't teach it. I was really, really surprised. Oh. An Azumarill? Is this the daycare? Hmm. I'm the daycare lady. We can raise Pokemon for you. Would you like us to raise one? Okay, this is not in the rule set for the Nuzlocke, but controversial, I don't like using the daycare at all. It's kind of like just sending your kid to summer camp. You're not truly, like, giving proper love and attention to your child. So, I'm gonna say no. I'd rather just level up my Pokemon naturally. And also, like, I don't know which Pokemon I want to, like, leave. Oh, it's a PC. I thought this was a TV. No Pokemon in my daycare. Mm-mm. Hello, sir. I'm the daycare man. I help take care of the precious Pokemon of trainers. If you'd like me to raise your Pokemon, have a word with my wife. My wife? Okay, double battle. Meg. I'm gonna tag up with my super senior student partner and beat you! Flush? <laughs> they look so scared of me. Senior and junior Anna and Meg would like to battle. Wait, there's only two. Why is it like senior and junior? What? I think they worded this weird. Zigzagoon and Makuhita. Ooh, this is huge! A normal and a fighting type. Pretty good matchup. Ah, yes. The place where Dittos get left to make more Pokemon for luck. Wait, it's a breeding center? I thought it was a daycare. Okay, Combuskin, you are going to... Merc Zigzagoon. Bruh, you are going to confuse... Makuhita.
Your Pokemon gained 78 XP? Okay, why was I scared of this area? I'm okay, I'm so over leveled. <laughs> it don't matter. I need to be this level for the gym, so. No importa. You defeated Sunior? Or Sunior. You defeated Senior and Junior Anna and Meg. Oh no, I'm sorry, Anna. I let you down. You got 544 Poké Dollars for winning. We can't take this lying down. You'll come back, won't you? You registered Senior and Junior Anna in the Poké Nav. As a kid, I always wanted to go back here. I bet if you uh, hack your GBA, you could. Oh, I want this little gecko guy. Is everybody practicing for this triathlon? Why is everybody run? Oh no, it's gonna be another double battle. Dang it. I do my triathlon training with Pokemon, so I'm pretty confident about my speed. Single battle saved. Triathlete Maria would like to battle. A doe duo. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Sakura to level 18. You defeat a triathlete, Maria. I need to get more practices in, I guess. You got 680 Poké Dollars for winning. You appear to be training properly. If you'd like, I'll battle you later. Register triathlete, Maria, in the Poké Nav. Okay, let's talk to this nerd. Listen, can I get you to battle a Pokemon I'm raising? Yeah, of course, dude. Pokemon Breeder Isaac. <gasps> he has six Pokemon? Uh-oh. Would like to battle. Okay, they're lower level. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, Wismer is normal slash fairy, but technically not fairy yet. Double gig. Why do you see it? Why does he have so many Pokemon? Oh wait, he's a breeder. They're probably like all inbred Pokemon. Aaron. I'll switch. I don't remember if fire is strong against steel, but I would think not. Unless fire can melt steel. But I do know that confusion works. Oh! Not enough though, so... Psychic is not... Is, so Psychic is weak against steel. Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon is dark slash normal, so we're gonna swap back to Combuskin. Or is Zigzagoon... I don't think it's dark, but it can have dark moves. I presume. Reoke C. Pokemon Breeder Isaac is about to use Taylor. I'm not gonna change because I want to see if fighting is strong against flying. I never confirmed it. Okay, fighting is no is not strong nor weak against flying. You would think that flying is strong against fighting. Because they could just fly away from a fight. Poochiana? Poochiana sucks. Makuhita. 
is fighting, so we're gonna swap in for Bruh. Bruh grew to level 21. And learn Psybeam. Ooh. Ooh, that's sick. You defeated Pokemon Breeder Isaac. You've raised your superbly. You got 440 Poke Dollars for winning. I'm gonna redouble my training. Would you come look in on us? Yeah, I wanna check the Psybeam out. Psybeam fires up fires up peculiar ray that may confuse the foe. So it's just like confusion, basically. But it does more base damage. That's pretty sick. I wonder if Rounds can learn it. Yeah, Rounds has confusion, calm mind, double team, and teleport. Maybe when they reach the third evolution? Hmm. Either way, very nice. On to more battles. Wow, there is a lot of encounters here. Oh, this is not a fight. The air is tasty here. You know, Kadabra evolves. Oh, wait, I thought it was Alakazam. <laughs> Yeah, and I do know it evolves. I just get the names mixed up. <laughs> okay, I thought it was Al Okay, Alakazam is the final one, then. <laughs> also, Kadabra and Alakazam look the same, basically, except one has spoons and is kind of skinnier. Once a bug catcher, and now a bug maniac. But my love for Pokemon remains unchanged. Buck Maniac Derek would like to battle. That boy is definitely eating bugs as he runs. Yeah, he's trying to get his protein up. Oop. Okay, Gust is flying. Super effective. Wait, is flying effective against fighting? That's what that's what I guessed earlier. Sakura to level nineteen. A beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. I also like how it's kind of like a yellowy brown. Oop. Sorry, beautiful. Combustion grew to level 24. You defeated Bug Maniac Derek. My ineptitude also remains unchanged. You got 960 Poké Dollars for winning. I want to talk to this flower girl. What do you think? Aren't these flowers pretty? I planted them all. What if I walk through it? Do they die? Oh, okay. I was scared that it would just like kill the flowers and she'd get angry and then kill me or something. You found one great ball. The animation of the flowers is so simple, but it conveys that it's moving through the wind. It's so good.
Veridan Turf Town. Oh, that's... Was I... No, I, didn't, I haven't gone there yet, I don't think. Let's, let's fight this grill. Please, allow me to evaluate if you have raised your Pokemon properly. Oh, dang it, a full party. Pokemon Breeder? Pokemon Breeder Lydia would like to battle. A Wingo. Oop. Yeah, fighting is not effective against flying. I knew it. Why didn't it affect Taylor then? Hmm. Weird. Meryl? I should change. Oops, I pressed B. Eh, it's only level 11. It's gonna die. Oh yeah, honestly, the the double kick is so OP. Goldeen. Oh, I pressed B again! Stupid GBA, the buttons are so confusing. Shrubbish. Shumish is grass, so it's weak against fire. So I like I have to vocalize the type advantages every single time though I just get that way I get it in my brain. Easy. Roselia, that's grass. Oops, I didn't mean to switch. I feel like it'd be easier if you had a controller. What do you mean? I'm playing for my GBA. I don't think I can plug in a pro controller. But yeah, I don't- I don't like playing games with keyboard. It hurts my fingers. I mean, I'm playing with my GBA! <gasps> Skitty? Skitty is normal. Oh, Skitty's so cute. Let's kill it. Why would you play with their pro controller? Okay, I'll be honest. I have no idea how to connect a controller to a computer. To me, it's like magic. Not like the action of doing it, but like knowing which cable to use. So I go to level 20. Let's freaking go. You defeated Pokemon Breeder Lydia. Yes, they are growing properly. You got $440 for winning. Let's go. I'm glad I met a superb trainer in you. I hope to see you again. Use the same charging cable to connect it? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. That makes so much sense. <laughs> I'm just clueless. Okay, please don't be a double battle. Uh-oh. Oh shit, this is really bad. Psychic? Oh no. Uh-oh. Let me demonstrate the power hidden within a psychic Pokemon. Uh-oh, this is really bad. Uh-oh. Psychic Brandy would like to battle. A Routes. Um... Okay. Fighting is weak against Psychic. And it's a level 17 route. Possibly Ember could work. But if I swap in Perlia or Kabuto. No, it's not Kabuto. Or. <laughs> or Bruh, we'll call him. The Psychic wouldn't work. Oh, maybe Psybeam would work? Okay, I don't want to risk any chance of losing a Buskin again. So we're going to swap in Bra because Bra is Psybeam.
Side beam. You missed! Oh yeah, because they raised their evasiveness. Makes sense. Okay, so... If they're psychic, they can still take damage. I'm gonna try confusion. Uh-oh. <laughs> you sick. No, bro always becomes confused. Easy, I was scared for nothing. You defeated Psychic Brandy. Astonishing. You got 408 Poké Dollars for winning. Yeah, that one was a close call. Concentrate on getting the win. That's how I battle. Battle girl Aisha would like to battle. A Meditate? <laughs> Look what I have. I just hit my table. I have a psychic Pokemon. You're gonna <laughs> bide. I always get so scared whenever I see bide. I know they won't get enough turns in, but it's still scary. They're gonna explode. You defeated Battle Girl Aisha. I don't waste any time being angry over a loss. Out of the train. You got 408 Poké Dollars for winning. You got me! Isn't it nice to battle with looking at pretty flowers? Triathlete Melina would like to battle. A doe duo. Why do they have so many doe duos? It's not like you can ride it. You defeated triathlete Melina. Oh, that's quite impressive. You got 680 Poké Dollars for winning. And Snazzy so cool. Sag Merrill. You found one revive, but I can't use that in this run. Oddish. I might as well just sell my revives. Right? Because, like, if a Pokemon faints, I can't, I can't save it. It has to die. I love how you try to skirt the auto mod, Keelan. It's really funny that you try that. Okay, so I've done all the encounters in this area. We're at 117. The only thing I need here is a bolt beat. But I'm gonna go heal real quick. I only pressed the wrong button on my GBA. Right, 
Round 117, very dying turf town. Rustboro City. Route 115. Oh yeah, Route 115 got cut off at the start. Oh, Route 110 is where I saw Brandon. Lava Ridge Town. There's probably a gym there. I don't... I don't think there'd be a gym in Verdan Turf. So maybe, maybe I'll go to Verdan Turf, explore Route 116, and then we'll go to Route 111, and then Route 118. Okay. That is the game plan. We're going to Verdan Turf just to explore and see what's there, because we're going to do a lot of leveling up today. Dang, that was one straight shot. Holy moly. Verd and Turf Town. The wind swept highlands with a sweet fragrance of grass. Pokemon Center and a Pokemart. Ooh, there's another tunnel. Let's do a little bit of shopping. Nest Ball. A ball that works better on weaker Pokemon. Ooh, that's huge! It costs a thousand dollars, though. Ice heal? Oh, he has burn heals. He doesn't have any regular potions. Buy all the revives for the goofs and gaps? No, that's so silly. I'm, I'm not that D.U.M. Okay, so for this run I can't use revives, I'm just gonna sell them. Oh, I only have one. $750, yes sir! They have another battle tent! That's huge! I love the battle tent. You know what else I love? Running ads, because guys, we are an hour into stream. So it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for food prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a sub available. I'll see if you subscribe, you can kill my Pokemon. We're three subs away from killing a Pokemon, so uh, don't subscribe. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. I think I'm gonna put my hair up. It's starting to bug me. I have a blue scrunchie. I wasn't joking when I said I bought a scrunchie of every color. I legit have every single color. Cause I hate feeling my hair on my ears. Like I'm trying to like, I can't think of a better word. Condition myself to wear my hair down. Cause like you know I'm pulling my hairline back when I put it up all the time. Like the other day I went out for the first time with my hair down and it felt really nice. Like it didn't feel nice cause it was windy, but like I felt good doing it. My Pokemon and I, we've been riding a hot winning streak. So I decided to make my battle tent debut in this town. Okay. Oh, Peason. Hi there. This is Anna. How are your Pokemon holding up? Mine just won a battle. My Makuhita was spectacular, I must say. I wish I could have shown you. See you later. Blush. Did you see the cave next to the Pokemon Mart? There's a guy there who's trying to bust up boulders so he can bust out through the other side. It'd be good if we could go through. 
It'd make it much easier to visit Rustboro. Oh, yeah! It's the guy digging with spoons. We'll check it out later. Twins? Far away, deep in Evergrande City, is the Pokemon League. The trainers who gather there are all frighteningly well-skilled. And that's gonna be me, baby. In the Pokemon League, I think the rules say that you have to battle the Elite Four all in a row. If you lose to any of them, you have to begin your challenge again from the first one. Okay, don't scare me like that. I d I'm dreading the Elite Four. I'm so scared. Well, this house is huge. It's Willy! Or Wally! I lost you, Peason, but I'm not feeling down anymore. Because I have a new purpose in life. Together with Routes, I'm gonna challenge Pokemon gyms and become a great trainer. Please watch me, Peason. I'm gonna be stronger than you. When I do, I'm gonna challenge you to another battle. Thank goodness it wasn't now. I didn't heal before I went around town. Oh, Peason, Wally's next door. But boy, there's something I have to tell you. This natural environment is doing wonders for Wally's health. Maybe it's not just the environment. It could be the Pokemon that are giving the boy hope. Oh. My daughter's boyfriend is a very driven and passionate sort of person. He's been digging a tunnel non-stop just so he can see my daughter. My daughter's a little concerned, so she gets out to the tunnel a lot. Man, if your guy digs a tunnel for you, I think he's the one, you know? Hi, Billy. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I went live early, so it's fine if you're late. Dude, my nose is so itchy. Nisan Shigoroku. I saw your message, Keelan. I was like, what the fuck? But <laughs> You're talking about the guy in the tunnel. <laughs> I'm not gonna read that out loud. I don't like saying the FF word. Let me see your Pokemon. I'll check to see how much it likes you. Oh, your Pokemon. It seems to be very happy. It obviously likes you a whole lot. Of course it loves me. I totally didn't let Combuskin die. No, no. We are the Pokemon Fan Club. We're on the air. On this program, we get your opinions, and I shout them out on your behalf. Isn't that a fantastic program concept? Today, we bring you this report from our reporter, who we sent out to the Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, wait, they interviewed me. So, just who is today's featured Pokemon fan? Peace in. So, let's wait here. So let's hear what Pearson has to say about Ralph there, Curlia! And I will shout those words of love out loud on TV! Hoo-ha! That's... That's not... That means something else, man. Let's shout! We asked Pearson, when you first laid eyes on your Curlia, what was your initial thought? Adore! Yee-haw! That's a mighty fan shout! Doesn't it bring back memories of those days long gone by? Hmm. Oh, there's still more. Let's check it out. Let me see now. We asked Peason, what do Pokemon mean to you? Life! Bravo! That's the best shout I've heard all day. Life! It makes you want to shout out loud again and again. Now that we've had a great shout, it's time to say goodbye. Until next time. So let's all have one last shout. All together now. Life! Okay, weird. It's better than screaming death, you know what I mean? The way the winds blow, volcanic ash has never blown in this direction. The air is clean and delicious here. Living here should do wonders for even frail and sickly people. I guess Wally came to the perfect place then. 
I'm gonna heal, and then we're gonna go in the cave. You can't consider yourself a real trainer if you don't have faith in your Pokémon. Only those people who can believe in their battling Pokémon can win through to the very end. Is Ralph still the GOAT? Of course! Ralph is still on my team. I'll never DQ Ralph. Unless I think Ralph might die. There's a move that gets stronger when you keep using it in a row. It's a bug-type move and it's wickedly cool. It's called Fury Cutter. Want me to teach it to a Pokemon? I don't have any bug Pokemon now. We're not on the same wavelength. <laughs> the reason why anyone would visit Verdan Turf is the battle tent. It goes without saying. Or is there somebody here that she came to see? Yeah, I came to see Wally. You got vibe checked by a child? No, but for real. Kids are so honest. That's like the cutest thing about them. If your fit is ugly, they'll tell you. If they don't like you, they'll tell you. They're the realest of real. Okay, let's check on the battle tent. I like the battle tent because then I don't lose any Pokemon. What kind of moves have you taught your Pokemon? I think you would give yourself an advantage if they knew how to heal or protect themselves. Yeah, true. My big sister is gentle usually, but when she gets angry, she's really, really scary. I bet a gentle Pokemon would be scary if it gets angry. My feeling towards my Pokemon. The- <laughs> What? <laughs> Stop saying that. Oh, ha, you didn't see that, did you? Well, it doesn't matter. How would you like this TM for your Pokemon? You obtained the TM45. Okay, this this lady needs to be put in jail. The feeling towards my Pokemon. I'm sure the attraction is mutual. They battle exactly the way I want them to. Um, FBI? Get them. Okay, TM45, attract. Makes it tough to attack a foe of the opposite gender. Wait. This game is anti-gay, what the hell? They're not woke. I can't play this game anymore. If it doesn't like a certain move, a Pokemon will be reluctant to use it. It doesn't matter how strong it is either. For example, a Pokemon with a gentle nature probably won't enjoy hurting its opponents. If it can't seem to live up to its potential, it's probably failing at using a dislike move against its will. I welcome you to the Battle Dan Bear Dan Turf site. Here the trainer's trust or Pokemon is tested. Do you wish to take the Bear Dan Turf Battle Tent Challenge? In the Bear Dan Turf Battle Tent, there was one crucial rule that must be obeyed. Trainers are permitted only to switch their Pokemon in and out. Trainers are otherwise forbidden to command their Pokemon. Oh. Interesting. The Pokemon are to behave according to their nature and battle on their own. You must put your trust in your Pokemon and watch over them. If you achieve the honor of beating three trainers in succession, we'll present you with the prize. If you want to interrupt your challenge, please save the game. If you don't save before interrupting, you will be disqualified. I don't have to use my Pokemon, right? When you have forfeited your heart and Pokemon, you must return. I'm gonna double check. Oh, what? Oh my god, there's so many rules. Battle Trainers. At this battle tent, the levels of your opponents will be adjusted to match the levels of your Pokemon. However, no trainer will face any Pokemon below level 30. 
Oh, do I have to bring in my own Pokemon? Here, Pokemon are required to think and battle by themselves. Unlike in the wild, Pokemon that live with people behave differently depending on their nature. Depending on its nature, a Pokemon may prefer to attack no matter what. Another Pokemon may prefer to protect itself from any harm. Yet another may enjoy vexing or confronting its foes. Due to its nature, a Pokemon will have favorite moves that it is good at using. It may also dislike certain moves that it has trouble using. There are offensive moves that inflict direct damage on the foe. There are defensive moves that are used to prepare for enemy attacks or used to heal HP and so on. There are other somewhat odd moves that may enable that may enfeeble the fees that may enfeeble the foes with start that may enfeeble the foes with stop problems including poison and paralysis. Pokemon will consider using moves Pokemon will consider move Pokemon will consider using moves in those three categories. Underpowered. When not under command by its trainer, a Pokemon may be unable to effectively use certain moves. A Pokemon is not good at using any moves that it dislikes. If a Pokemon only knows moves that do not match its nature, it will often be unable to live to its potential. Oh. So maybe it's bad that I'm prioritizing, like, offensive moves? When in danger. Depending on its nature, a Pokemon may start using moves that don't match its nature when it's in trouble. If a Pokemon behaves oddly in a pinch, watch it carefully. Okay, do I have to use my own Pokemon? Wait, I don't have any Pokemon that are level 30. Battle Basics. Battle Trainers. Oh, no training you face. Oh, okay, so the Pokemon that I'm battling are level 30 plus. Um, how about I don't do this? <laughs> if, if it's using my own Pokemon, I don't want to do this. I don't want to fight. My nature is passive. In life and game. My papa told me. He says this tunnel is full of timid Pokemon. They get all scared of loud noise and make an uproar. So they have to stop the big tunnel project. But there's one man. He's trying to dig the tunnel by himself. Ruster Tunnel. Oop, and we're in. A level 6 Wismer. Easy peasy, a lemon squeezy. You would think that the Pokemon would be higher level on this side, but I guess not. Let's keep exploring. I don't think I was supposed to be there yet. I'll go back there once I explore the tunnel a bit more. What do you call a wild man up in the mountains? A mountain man, right? So why don't they call a Pokemon in the mountains a mountain Pokemon? I'll make the rules. Hiker Mike would like to battle. I want to see a fire strong against ground. No, it's not. Okay, that's what I thought.
Oh my god! That's crazy! Okay, magnitude 4 did nothing. Holy shit. Oh my goodness, the magnitude is crazy. I didn't realize it could do that much damage. And Judo is kind of goaded. Here's another Geo dude. I will not change. I wonder if Ralph still has the- Oh, Ralph is not carrying first strike still. I need to swap it out. Machop. Machop is fighting and ground, I think. Yeah, Machop is fighting. Man, I almost got cooked! I almost got cooked by the magnitude. I didn't realize it was that strong, potentially. Sakura to level 21. That's freaking good. Self-destruct? Wait. <laughs> Wait, does self-destruct just kill me? Inflicts severe damage, but makes the user faint? Um, no! Yeah, I don't want that. I do not want that. You defeated Hiker Mike. My Pokemon ran out of power. You got 640 Poké Dollars for winning. Why? Why not? I don't want to lose Geodude. They haunt, they halt the development here to protect Pokemon, right? That's a feel-good story. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go heal, and then we're gonna come back. So we're gonna swap out Ralph. <laughs> For the lulls, imagine. Imagine. Sounds like an epic way to go out. Um, no, it does not. Twitch Def, I do not endorse self-emulation. The only emulation I like is GBA. Hi, hacker. <laughs> Can we get some yos? Hello. <laughs> Errand crying emoji? It's it's a funny name, Errand. Am I not allowed to make little pun jokes? Or have fun with my pun jokes? On the other side of this rock, my boyfriend is there. He's... He's not just digging the tunnel to come see me. He works his hands raw and rough for the benefit of everyone. Okay, I think you're coping. Also, chat, do you like a guy with soft or rough hands? I personally don't care as long as their nails aren't black. Like with soot. Or oil. I personally, I like soft hands. Rough hands don't feel nice to touch. <laughs> clean hands? Yeah, I think clean takes priority. <laughs> you found one max ether. Okay, only thing in this cave was Wismers and then a fight that almost killed me. Rough hands are so manly. Aren't, like, pretty boys in now, though? Like, everybody likes K-pop. Which, I am not a huge fan of K-pop, but I can appreciate it. Uh, K-pop stands, don't cancel me.
<laughs> Your mama's hands. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, mama. Okay, what should I do now? I don't want to- The battle tent is scary. I don't want my Pokemon to, like, fight to the death. So, I'm gonna check my map. Because the opposite end of that tunnel, I get to Route 116. Oh. It's here. Okay. I'll go check out Route 116. Have I been to Route 116 already? I don't think I have. No recorde. Eh, no sé dónde. I don't know where I'm going with that. I do want to do a stream where I just do Duolingo for like five hours straight. I want to- okay. Because there's some people on my Duolingo that get like 20,000 XP a week. I want to do a stream where I try to get as much XP as I can in one sitting. Like Duolingo, PB, 80%. Route 160. Oop. Oop. I draw my glasses. Can you help me find them? Um, sure, sir. There's a small indent in the wall. Do you like tryhards are insane? I know, right? And they're usually, like, grandmas. Because all their PFPs are, like, old women. But, you know, at least they're spending their time learning. You found one HP up. Okay, I wonder what these little holes in the walls are for. Wait. This guy said he lost his glasses, but he's literally wearing his glasses. Sir. I think he's clueless. I guess there's nothing here. Clueless. I think the most XP I got in a week was like 15,000. And that was like my third week playing because I, I like I wanted to get number one. Because I think second place had like 10k. I was feeling very charity, but then I was like, I spent like 10 hours this week doing Duolingo. I really don't need to be doing this every week. I do Duolingo for like maybe the 15 to 30 minutes a day. And then like on Saturday, I do it for like an hour or two. Because you get double XP. Or you get an XP bonus. Because, like, I want to learn. But then also, like, I feel really sad being on my phone all day. Like, I'd rather play a game for a substantial amount of time, but not be on my phone. You know? Okay, we did everything in Route 117. The only thing we need here is a bull beat. Which we'll come back for. I don't want to grind too much. I kind of want to explore the other two routes to see if I can get another ground Pokemon. Because I assume the more gyms you go to, the more Pokemon they're going to have. And I think the first and second gym both had three Pokemon for the final gym leader. So that, that means this leader is either going to have three or four. So I should probably get at least three ground types. Right now I have two. Route 111. Okay, surely the Pokemon here won't be too strong. I'm gonna swap Combuskin to be the party leader, because Combuskin is my highest level. Show me how to put a little excitement into my life. Oh my god, is she flirting? Flush. Aroma Lady Selena would like to battle. A Rosalina, you're gonna die. A level 18? Ooh. Ooh. To XP! Combuskin grew to level 25. Oh, 
Oh my, that was too much excitement. You got 720 polka dollars for winning. Let's freaking go. This guy thinks you can hide from me? I see your little hat hiding your balding head. This is my favorite kind of Pokemon! I bet it's gonna be a skitty. Oh, it's a child. <laughs> Camper Tyron would like to battle. A sand shrew. Oh, it's so cute. Um, I know fire is weak. Let's try the double kick. Kids. He has poison? Oh, shit. I'm gonna die. You defeated Camper Tyron. Wait, did you get a good look at my Pokemon? You got 304 Poke Dollars for winning. Guys, it's 1119 Make a Wish. It's late. Oh, I. Oh, oh, bang! Um, how do I heal? Antidote. Heal! Heal! Bye, Chip. We'll see you later. Dude, imagine I let a combustion die. Route 111 to Mauville City. Ooh, a full heal, thank you. Did you come from Mauville? Then you should be full of energy. You could say that. Picnicker Bianca would like to battle. Hey, <laughs> Shroomish, you're gonna die. I have a combustion. Okay, I, I seriously, I need to stop saying die. That needs to be removed from my vocabulary. You defeated Picnic or Bianca. Oh la la! That's a lot to take! Weird quote. You got 280 Poké Dollars for winning. You know who else can be hashtag winning? Followers. Because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so it's time for me to tell you to turn that heart button purple. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? So follow today. For every single follower I get today, I will give chat a high five. Oh my goodness, so many battles. Trainer Hill Entrance. Scale the heights, you hot-blooded trainers. Okay, I do not want to go in there. That sounds scary. It's a rugged rock, but a Pokemon may be able to smash it. Rock smash. Aaron. Wait, actually, it should be snazzy. Teach Rock Smash yet, because I don't have to beat the gym first. So about out for tackle.
Gyms let you use the HMs out of battle. Oh. So does that mean I can't use Smash? Oh, yeah, it's not letting me do it. Oh, well. <laughs> well. I tried. Next time I'll hack my GBA. Oh, he's not gonna battle me. I challenged the win straight family, but four matches in a row is tough going. They destroyed me. Our family's heart beat as one, the win straight's house. Okay, I'm not touching that, because I, I don't want to talk to him and be like, we're gonna battle, and then I die. I, I ain't touching it. I'm sad there's no Pokemon on this path, though. When you're as famished as I am, there is no room for pity. Kindler Hayden would like to battle. A Nummel. Um, Nummel was fire and ground, I believe. Let's try Ralph. You got 576 Poké Dollars for winning. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You found one elixir. Are there Pokémon in this room? I guess not. Okay, so it's just battles. Let's heal up and then explore the path to the far right. Grand Pokemon. Route 118. Wow, ride for the jump. Two battles. Go, go, go! Pokemon 1, 2, and 3! I guess he has three Pokemon? Yep. Youngster, Dondre would like to battle. A zigzagoon level 14. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I keep forgetting if fire is strong against steel. It's indifferent. Saw grew to level 22. Saw is almost ready for the gym. Three more levels. Electric. Electric.
Oh, I could have put in Geodude. Geodude's high enough level. Oh well. Unifeedy Youngster Dondre. Come in, Pokemon! Are you okay? Pokemon 1, 2, and 3! You got 224 Poke Dollars for winning. Very nice. <gasps> We're by the ocean! The aroma of flowers has a magical power. It cleanses us. Wait, it cleanses us body. Wait. The aroma of flowers has a magical power. It cleanses us body and soul. Aroma Lady Rose would like to battle. Imagine she has three Rosalias. A Shroomish. She does not have three Rosalias. Okay, what I'm learning is that if you only have one type of Pokemon in your team, you're good. You defeated Aroma Lady Rose. Oh dear me, I seem to have lost. You got 560 Poké Dollars for winning. <laughs> <laughs> that odor! It's a Pokénav! We must register each other! Okay, why does she know what a Pokénav smells like? <laughs> She's weird. For fishermen, equipment is the key. But for trainers, the key ingredients are Pokemon and Heart, of course. Oh, I should have switched party leaders. Fisherman, we would like to battle. A tentacool. The Muskin grew to level 26. You defeated Fisherman Wade. I was beaten in heart. You got 600 a book you got 640 Poke Dollars for winning. Okay, I'm gonna swap on my party leader for Ralph. Oops. Hello, sir. Let my melody rock your soul. Okay, why is he shirtless? Guitarist Dalton would like to battle. Magnemite. Magnemite is electric. Let's try confusion. Not very effective. Uh oh. Now I know, so I should not bring any psychic into the electric gym. Why would Electric be strong against Psychic, though? Hmm. I wonder. I Mario wonder. Sakura to level 23. Two more levels and Sa is ready for the gym. You defeated Guitarist Dalton. <laughs> you got 480 Poké Dollars for winning. Well, what? what? Hi, Vic. Can we get some yo's? Hello. When I compose better melodies, you have to come listen, okay?
Even if there isn't a boat, you can cross rivers and sea if you have a Pokemon that knows surf. Pokemon can be counted on to do so much. <laughs> Girl, where have you been? I've been starved for three days. Okay, I didn't- the last time I streamed was Friday. That's technically two days off. And if you follow my Twitter, you know. I wanted to take the weekend off. I've been streaming too much. You guys have been eating good. I was gonna stream yesterday, but my sister, we were setting up a little, like, art corner for her, so. I was spending time with my sister. That's valid. Rest is better. Yeah. It, it, it has been a long time where I took a day off because, like, I didn't feel like streaming. Because streaming is so much fun, man. This year's been a good year so far. And it's- or oh my god, it's already March, that's crazy. Okay, watch this. Because- okay, how do I bunny hop? Can I hop? I think I'm supposed to go that way. Not like that, yeah, obviously. <laughs> okay, there's there's a reason why these cliffs are here. I gotta be able to jump them. <laughs> Maybe I can Oh that's cute to leave a little line in the sand. Watch this. I'm gonna go in the water. Okay, I hate the bike. The bike is kinda lame, not gonna lie. I'll figure out how to scale these mountains if it's the last thing I do. Hiya, Peason. It's Isaac. How are things with you? Battling much? I just won a while back. My tailor was brilliant. You wait. I'm gonna beat you next time, right? Take care. <gasps> wait, I just remembered? Now that I have my bike, I can go on the bike road. Oh, well, I clicked on the wrong thing. Where's the map? Because the bike path... Yeah, it's back in Route 110. I totally forgot. Okay, either way, we need to level up. Man, I wish I had more ground Pokemon. I only got two. Hmm, okay, what should I do? Either way, I want to get a... Volt Beat, or Beat Volt. And that was on Route 116? No, Route 117, I think. And then I need to keep leveling up my ground Pokemon. I'm gonna double check to see if I have any other Pokemon that are ground-esque. Oops, misclick. Yeah, C dot is grass, and it only has normal moves. Yeah, I don't got any more ground Pokemon. Wait, don't I have a mine them? Oh, it, it's at the top. <laughs> The sprite didn't look right. Okay, I don't have any more ground Pokemon. Hmm. And Psychic is weak against Electric, allegedly. Yeah, I only got Saw and Errand. Either way, I need to get these two to level 25. So, I think the plan is simple. We'll grind on 117 until we find the Volt Beat. And then we'll try and go down the bike path. Maybe that'll give us some new Pokemon. That is my plan for now. Ooh, an Ultra Ball Snazzy is so cool. So, you know what? We're going. We're grinding. We're leveling up. Everybody get cozy. Get your blankets. Get your snacks. Scream out when I find a Volt Beat.
How goes the game? It's going pretty good. I haven't lost a Pokemon in over a day. Hi, Titans. Can we get some Yo's? What if I said the game is going horrible? How would you react? Maybe the same emote. <laughs> that just means you're two-faced. Okay, Oddish is... Grass and poison. You have my favorite Pokemon, a Curlio? Curlio is pretty cute. You know what? Let's bring in Suh! Now Suh, don't die! Okay, Suh has Magnitude, Mudsport, Rock Throw. I don't know how well Ground does against Dark. Wait, there's Ground and Rock type? Wait, I thought they were the same. <laughs> <laughs> um, I learned something new every day. Alright, let's try Rock Throw. Okay, so Rock is neither strong nor weak against Dark. Got it. Oddish. Chlorophyll? Isn't that what you put in the towels? Another Illumis. Okay, Psychic is not strong against Bug. I guess their outer skeletons are too strong. Ectoskeletons, that's what it's called. <gasps> It's rizzing! That's my move! Illumis was worth 146 x Illumis was worth 300 XP on its own, that's crazy. I want to try Magnitude. Oh. Magnitude. Level 7! You know, I think it's interesting that Japan put a Magnitude Earthquake move in their game. Don't you think it'd be triggering for some of their kid audience? 
Like, I'm not joking, I'm trying to be serious. And that's another reason why this game isn't woke. I have no clue what Volt Beat looks like. All I'm picturing is the Pokemon that looks like Honeycomb, but I know that's not it. Volt Beat seems like it'd be red. Don't tell me what it looks like, I wanna be surprised. C dot is in this area. This is Route 117. This is crazy. A C dot? Oh my god, a C dot? It died. Take this L. Your team is looking pretty good. We keep leveling. I just realized on the bike path there's probably going to be a lot of trainer battles. This is just people on their bikes. And that sounds kind of scary. Another Illumis. Your Riz ain't gonna work on me.
Ralph Peer to level 24. Very nice. Sa grew to level 24. One more level, and Sa is ready for the gym. We continue on. After this ad break, because guys, we are two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a sub available, and if you subscribe, you can kill my Pokemon. We're three subs away from killing my Illumis. No, don't kill a Lumi, it's the totally worthless Pokemon. Don't do it. Get boomed. We continue on. Another Illumis! Okay, Ralph is out of PP for confusion, so we're gonna swap out Bro for the party leader and keep leveling up some. back and catch Sableye again. I'm truly debating. Because I don't know what to expect from the bike path. Hey, Combuskin has funny number HP.
Yeah, I think when I get a vote beat, I'll go get a Sableye. Because if Sableye has no weakness, then he might be good for this gym, because I don't have enough ground types. I'm also surprised there was no ground types, or not more ground types in that cave. Because in the cave, I got Zubat, Makuhita, Eren, and Geodude. Only ground types were Eren and Geodude. You would think there'd be more. Either way, new plan. We get Volbeat, and then we go back and get Sableye. This is gonna be a... I don't think you need to go all the way back there. Wait, spoilers! <laughs> now, I assume there's gonna be another cave section up ahead, but I, I want Sableye. Because... I gotta look at the map again. But the only section that looked like it was going into a cave... ...is the Lava City, and the Lava City looks scary. In the path to get to Lava City, I gotta double check the map. It looks like I gotta go through the Trainer Cave. Which sounds very scary. In the sense of needing it for this gym. Dang. My game theory is incorrect. She. Oh, wait! Because Sableye is psychic and dark, I think, right? So he could be bad. But he has no weaknesses, allegedly. Wait, maybe it is bad. <laughs> Wait, I just remember that. Because the psychic moves don't work on... Wait, no, do they? No. Physical moves don't work on Sableye. Did confusion work? I don't remember. I have to go back and find him again. It'd be cool... If for the battle gym, you could choose, like, any Pokemon. That'd be sick. Because learning the basic types, like water, grass, fire, elements make sense. But attribute types, like fighting, flying, like, those make no sense to me. It's kind of like the tertiary colors on the color wheel. You don't know them off the bat, you kind of gotta put the pieces together. And mix the colors yourself to see what it makes. Either way, I still want to catch a sab Sableye today. I still want it. Snazzy has an item. I gotta remember to jet grab that when this is over.
45 hours in and I still don't understand the point of the game? Um, the point of the game is to just kill everything in sight. And then also defeat the Elite Four. But like, it's not super clear that you need to fight the Elite Four. They just tell you that you need to like, go to the gyms and get badges. Okay, guys. Do I have to face the Elite Four? It sounds so scary. Does that count as beating the game? <gasps> Bro, go to level 22. Let's go. Like, can I just get the eight gym badges and then I win? What if you have to do a full reset at the Elite Four? That's what I'm scared of! That's what I'm so scared of! I don't want to get to the end and do it all over again! If, okay, if I die in the Elite Four, I'm literally never playing Pokemon ever again. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, I'm almost at Gym 3. I'm leveling up right now. Yeah, you can see by the icon I beat two Gym Leaders. And we're gonna get a third on screen today. Don't you worry. I'm seeing a lot of Pokemon in our future. No, I don't wanna be playing Pokemon forever. I don't wanna be a Pokemon streamer. Even though it seems like you guys like it, I don't like it. No, I cannot wait for the Pokemon meta to be over. I just want to play Mario Kart! I was gonna say, I want to play games that I'm good at, but I'm not, like, great at Mario Kart. You are a Pokemon streamer? No! Oh, no. Peason is definitely gonna be playing Pokemon in for the rest of her career. No! No! Okay. Right now, it's March 25th. How many gym leaders do I have left? There's eight. Holy shit, there's eight. Oh, we're gonna be playing this until April for sure. Holy freak. Okay, realistically, I knew this game would take me like three weeks. We started this on March 12th. Also, like, I've taken days off. It takes the normal person 40 hours? Okay, okay. On this run... On this run, we're at 20 hours. 20 hours. Because we started this attempt at 25 hours. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I will always support you, but the Pokemon is kind of a lot. <laughs> Dude, I know! It's so much! But I appreciate that, Vic. Like, I understand with these Pokemon streams, they're like marathon streams. They're basically subathons. I, I generally don't expect any viewer to watch every stream. Because, you know, you should not be obsessed with anybody that much. Like, text your mom back, you know? <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Editor, cut that out. <laughs> Suh grew to level 25. Let's freaking go. Suh is now ready for the gym. <gasps> no way! It's gonna be... Gollum? No, Gollum is the third one. I don't know what this guy is called. Ew, look at his hands! Ew! Congratulations! Your son evolved into Graveler! I wanna look at him! Oh, he looks so scary. Okay, <laughs> wait. He's sturdy. Negates one-hit KO attacks. So that means- Wait, that's huge! 
So if somebody tries to kill me, I like save a little bit of HP, right? Ooh, that's crazy. I'm gonna double check my moves at Magnitude, Defense Curl, Mud Sport, Rock Throw. Rock Throw does guaranteed 50, or if it hits. Okay, Rock Throw, Magnitude, Defense Curl for sure. Mud Sport is eh. Not in this gen. It means that moves like Guillotine and Horn Drill won't work. Oh, so moves that... You don't... Wait, what? What do you mean, don't work? Like, they just do no damage then? I'm confused. Okay. So know that Shug is level 25. We can start leveling up Eren. The attack would fail. Oh, so it just does nothing? Wait, that's crazy. That's even better. Whoa. That's actually insane. Okay, I know there's like a held item that like won't that allows you to like not die from one hit KO moves. Like it lives you a little bit of HP, but I haven't seen that item yet in this game. I know it's in other games. I don't know if it's in Emerald at all. But if I ever find that item, I'm gonna give it to Combuskin. Aaron was given XP share. We're gonna level up Aaron. But it specifically means insta-kill attacks, and not just moves that do a lot of damage. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you for clarifying. So it would be like moves like um, Voltorb, like self-destruct, or Geodude's combust, or self-destruct. Whatever he had that I was like, no, please don't do that. Nope. Oh, I don't know. I don't know Pokemon. <laughs> no say. Okay, I'm gonna start battling with Saw now. Because for this next fight, if it's electric, I can probably bring Combuskin. I wonder if Grass is strong against electric. Hmm. No say. You're probably not going to run into that situation anyway because it's so rare. Okay, that's good. That is very good, actually. Let's bring in Saw. Okay, his sprite looks so dumb. He looks like a zombie crawling out of the ground. <gasps> we continue on. I don't remember if any of the trainers in this game have it in Emerald, though, so it'll be a surprise for everyone. I mean, if it's a perk that a Pokemon can have in the game, I assume it's you'll encounter it at some point. You know what I mean? It's like foreshadowing. We'll probably see it at some point, and you know what? With my look, it's gonna be on Combuskin again.
Give me the volt bead. I wonder if I can go and fight gym leaders again. I'm Mario Wonder. Because what I see the potential strat being is refighting encounters. Because they give you more XP. Oops, I forgot. This doesn't affect him. Oopsie. Me all be day. Because I don't think you can go to the gym and, like, fight them. Because they're probably just going to give you the same dialogue they give you whenever you defeat them. But I know... I think some of the gym leaders gave me their Pokemon. I got a check. I missed! Saw you suck. Magnitude earthquake time. Dude, what the hell? Ten? How much? I'm really mad. After this fight, I'm gonna go heal just to be safe, because all my, like, tank Pokemon are at half HP. We continue on. Oh wait, I was gonna check my Pokenet. Match call. Wait, Roxanne, look! Oh, wait, wait, no, I saw her! I keep misclicking on my... Wait, why can't I... I can't go right. Yeah, look, Brawly's on there, Roxanne is on there. Whenever I press right, it, it goes down. Hmm. I don't know. I'm too scared. I don't want to fight anybody. I love peace and love, not war. You're reading it wrong? Oh. <laughs> I'm just clueless. It's listed as title and name. Oh, I thought it was just two columns. <laughs> okay, let me try that again. Oh, wait, that's the map. I misclicked. Oh, yeah, it's their title. Oh, yeah. Let's talk to Brawly. A call can't be made from here. What? What? 
bombed? I'm in the city. I'm not in the woods. It should work. I'm in a Pokemon Center, for God's sake. Okay, I guess I can't fight the gym leaders again. Valid. They got the Sprint cell service? I know, right? Oh, back to leveling up, guys. Hmm. Nah, T-Mobile is also horrible. I had T-Mobile for a long time, and then I changed providers once I got off my parents' plan. Dude, T-Mobile is the worst. You know, I've debated if I should get Ryan Reynolds' phone company. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I see their little pop-up shops all the time, though. Okay, Shaw, you better fight well. Good job, Shaw. Aaron grew to level 11. Let's go. Yeah, where's that Volbeat? I want to see him. Another Illumis. I think the name is Illumis, but I like saying Illumis because it sounds like Zoomies. Not the company, but like it's when your cat runs around frantically. Dang, I want a cat so bad. Oh, peace, and how do you do? This is Rose speaking. How are your Pokemon doing? I lost the match the other day. I need to try harder. See you again. Guys, for my birthday, can you guys give me a cat? I've been begging for years. Nah. But I told myself, it's like the smart thing to do. To not have a pet until I have, like, a secure home. Like, my own home. Because, like, I can't imagine, like, going from apartment to apartment. And then finding a unit that doesn't allow pets. It makes me so sad when people have to, like, give away their pets. And it's also, it's gotta be traumatizing for the pet, too. And, like, I'm not in a super financially secure situation either so it's like I can't necessarily afford to take on that expense right now either cuz like I also get really sad thinking about like what if your like pet is disabled and you can't afford to pay like for procedures and shit it's like oh they should you know if people truly loved a animals they should just make all like hospital procedures free for animals they should do it. If I become president, I will give free pet insurance to everyone. Screw the Affordable Care Act. We need the Affordable Pet Act. Ooh, Illumis. No, but for real, we still need health care for all. We need health care for all. Humans, pets, and... What else needs health care? the furries because they're in between you know <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> editor cut that out Aaron griddle level 12 <laughs> Ooh, a 
one of their Illumis. Bro is pretty close to leveling up too. Your charm won't work on me. Plot twist, my bruh is gay. That's why your charm doesn't work. <laughs> bruh grew to level 23, let's freaking go. Ooh, reflect. KSSU. Reflect. Creates a wall of light that weakens physical attacks. Okay, since I have Psy Beam, I don't necessarily need Confusion anymore. Because I think... If I'm going to be getting Pokemon ready for the Elite Four, I'm probably going to need at least one of different... One of every different type of, like, offensive move. So, like, if, for example, Psychic or Normal move. One of each. And then two status moves. Two or three status moves. So, I don't think I necessarily need Confusion anymore. I'm gonna get rid of confusion. I'm doing it. This is not how I play Pokemon usually. I just usually do four offensive moves, but I'm gonna like actually play strategically with this playthrough. I'll just have to make sure I buy like uh, PP ups. Also, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Turn that heart button purple today. Mm-hmm. Illumis! And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on, that we don't miss a single stream. Because I did start stream a bit early today. Oopsie. Mainly because I wanted to, like, end early. Because these streams usually hurt my hands. You know, gripping my GBA is kind of hard. Even though it's kind of flimsy. It's gonna take forever to get Aaron up. But you know what I got all day? It's only 12.30.
I just gotta cancel my date later. And before anybody asks, of course it's with your mothers. All of them. At once. What's what's the one dating show where it's like MILF? MILF Manor! <laughs> I'm going to MILF Manor tonight. Or I was. But I got I gotta play Pokemon. Level 13. Aaron is trying to learn Metal Claw. Metal Claw. A steel type move. A claw attack that may raise the user's attack. Ooh, that's pretty sick. We have Tackle, Headbutt, Mud Slap. Um, let's get rid of headbutt because I already have a normal. Oh, sorry. Let's get rid of tackle. Oh my god, because it only does thirty-five damage when a headbutt does thirty-five. I already have another normal move. That would have been very bad if I got rid of headbutt. Aaron learned metal claw. Let's go. Aaron is so cool. Nazi has an item. We continue on. Gotta get going, but good luck with the gym. Don't worry, I'll beat it first try. Because if I don't beat it first try, I have to reset. <laughs> but thanks for hanging out. We all will see you next time. And I also thank you for the hints. I feel like I learned two things today. I really want some ghost Pokemon. I have no clue where they'd be, though. We have, de we have yet to see, like, an abandoned city. Or a graveyard.
Okay, seriously, where this where's this volt beat? Don't they inch down volt beat? Aaron grew to level 14. Once I get Ralph and Broad to level 25, I'll make Graveler my party lead again. I think for this third gym, I should be fine with just Graveler and Aaron and maybe Combuskin. I'm still unsure though. Okay, this is Bra's final side beam. Rugger to level 24. Very nice. Okay, we're gonna level up Ralph for now because Bra doesn't have any more side beam PP. Ralph is back in. You know, Frenzies, I'm gonna look up how long it actually takes to beat this game. I'm curious. Because you guys kept on saying different numbers. Pokemon Emerald Game Length. Okay, it says 31 hours. From GameSpot, it says 57. Okay, so like, I'm not... I'm not doing too horrible. I'm not... 
Okay, let's say 50 hours is the average. Right now, I'm at... I'm at 21. 9 plus 10. And no, the timer is not for this attempt. It's for attempt number 4. Lumies. Aaron grew to level fifteen. Very nice, getting there. Ten more levels. Ten more. Mm -hmm.
Okay, seriously, where's this Volt Beam? Volt Beam. Wherever he's going. Where's he at? I think it's been like an hour. At least. Don't they in stone? Okay, even if we find Bulby, we'd still have to level up here, I think. Because I think this area still has the highest level Pokemon. For now, at least. long it would take to get every single one of your Pokemon to level 99. It would have to be hundreds and hundreds of hours. That is my goal with this save, though. A C-Dot? Ain't no way! Have a seat Aaron grew to level 16. Getting there, nine nine more to go. I also can plant one more berry up here.
Nazi has an item. Great ball, thank you. Uh -oh. Am I gonna go to the Pokemon Center whenever my four tank Pokemon need to be healed? Right now, Ralph has... Yeah, four more turns left. Then we'll switch to Combuskin, and once Combuskin is done, we'll go to the Pokemon Center. So I don't want to waste too much time going back and forth. And I've beaten all the trainers here, so it's not like I'm going to get a random encounter. But you know what is, like, not random? Ad breaks, because guys, we are three hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some more ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For four ninety nine, just five dollars, skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a sub available, and if you subscribe, you can kill my Pokemon. Isn't that kind of scary? Three more subs, and we have to kill a Pokemon, begrudgingly. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Get back to it. Back to work. Wait, I just realized. I assume the Lava City Gym is going to be fire type. I have no water Pokemon. The only water Pokemon I have is Goldeen. Goldeen. Like, Wingle died, Meryl died, Low Tent. Yeah, I literally have no water Pokemon. <laughs> We'd have Magikarp. Magikarp is kind of cool. But other than that. Oh, but I do have a Tentacool. Okay, I lied. I have a Magikarp, Tentacool, and a Goldeen. I have some water types, but they're like weaklings. Combuskin's the party leader, then whenever Combuskin needs healing, we'll go heal. Yeah, Ered is at 16, so 9 more to go. Dang.
I really want to catch another Meryl, but I'm not allowed. There's gotta be somewhere I can get an Azumarill. There's gotta be. Aaron grew to level 17, my favorite number. Aaron is trying to learn Iron Defense. Iron Defense hardens the body's surface to sharply raise defense. Harden stiffens the body's muscles to raise defense. Okay, since this one says sharply raise defense, I assume it's going to be stronger than Harden. So I'm going to swap it out. It does have less PP though, but I generally don't think you'll need to use Harden 30 times in a fight. One, two, and poof! Aaron forgot Harden and learned Iron Defense. He's got that Iron Will, you know what I mean? Illumies! My only goal with the peace lock is not to hit triple digits. I know it'll fit on screen, but I genuinely don't want to hit triple digits. But it might hit triple digits. <laughs> I think the only way to like ensure that this doesn't take forever is making sure I'm properly leveled for the gyms and then I have to know the types before I enter a gym, like the type advantages and weaknesses. Because losing, losing 25 hours for the first three attempts really cooked me.
I also should buy some paralysis heals. Because I even if like ground and rock is strong against electric, maybe they can still paralyze me. So I before I go to the gym, I make sure I have to stock up on all status heal items. I'm vocalizing this now so I don't forget later. Okay, with my luck, I don't think we're gonna find a Volpe. Surely. Because the plan still stands. Whenever Aaron reaches 25, I think having Aaron. Go not Gollum. Graveler and Combuskin will be fine for this third gym. Combuskin grew to level 27. Let's go. So OP. Aaron grew to level 18, two for one. I think I should be fine with those three. I generally don't know who else would be strong against it. Maybe Seedal? I am worried though. Yeah, none of the none of my Pokemon that have dive would be helpful because I had a Wurmple, Wingle, Lotad, Slackoth, and Meryl. None of them would be good for this gym either.
I'm surprised. After 46 hours of this game, I'm still, like, not annoyed at the music. I feel like most people would, like, play other things in the background. But you know what? I'm fine with this. I kind of like the repetitive and the monotony of it. And also, like, if I played, like, other music on top of this, it'd be too overwhelming for my little ears. I feel like it would drive me even crazier. I'm getting so many look lucky with, like, the amount of Illumis I'm getting. Okay, seriously, where's these vote baiting? Okay, the problem I see arising though is if I do find a Volpe, my Pokemon are too strong. <laughs> um... It should be fine, we're not gonna find a Volpe. I'm thinking. Yeah, whenever I get Ralph or Bruh to 25, we'll put them in the box and then bring in Shroomish. Until then, Aaron is like still low level enough to where it shouldn't kill. Hopefully. The only reason why I'm still leveling up from Buskin is because if for some reason Graveler and Aaron fail in the gym, I'll still have Combuskin. My tank. Level 19. Six more to go. Holy moly. Guys, get comfy.
I do want to see if Scratch will kill. It doesn't. Okay. So even if I do run into a... A veal bolt? Bolt veal? <laughs> it won't kill. So I guess I don't need to drop out for Shroomish. I'll be fine with Combuskin. Unless Combuskin evolves. Which, surely it shouldn't. But maybe since I love it so much, it will. The final ember for Kumbuskin for now. Absorb is not effective. Haha. <laughs> Tee. For once, something didn't get killed by Combuskin. Maybe he's weak. I've had to have encountered a hundred Pokemon by now. I need that V bolt. Or whatever it's called. Volt B. Combuskin grew to level 28. Combuskin is trying to learn bulk up. Okay, what is this? Bulk up, fighting the bulks of the body to boost attack and defense. That's kind of huge. To raise attack and defense with one move? many different types of each offensive move I can. I don't necessarily need Scratch. But I'll be honest, Focus Energy seems kind of dumb. Crits are special and I don't want to like increase the odds, so I'm going to swap it out for Focus Energy. Controversial. Combust can learn Bulk Up. Boca was what Brawly was spamming, wasn't it? It was. That's why he cooked me. That's why, like, it's really valuable. I think Routes... I mean, let me see. I think Routes has a similar move. Okay, okay. 
Oh, Calm Mind. Raises special attack and special defense. So, kind of the same thing, but different. But yeah. Being able to raise both attack and defense with one move is like... OP, in my opinion. After seeing Brawly use it... I swear, Combustion is leveling up quicker than air. I don't know what's up. Fighting is not strong against poison or grass. I don't know which one though. Fighting is not strong against bug. We continue on. Okay, six more encounters and then we gotta go to the Poke Center. Moonlight? It regained health. Okay. That was kind of cool. Finally something new. 
Aaron grew to level 20. Five more to go. We continue on. This is going to be our last encounter, and then we'll go to the Poké Center and heal. How many Pokemon are am I training for this gym? Uh, three. I'm leveling up the last one errand right now. Five more levels to go for errand. Because I generally don't think I'll need more than three Pokemon for this gym. Because for the other ones, I've only needed two. And if I have the type advantage, I should be fine. Hopefully. <laughs> Surely. Okay, now that everybody's healed. Now Snazzy has an item. Let's go ahead and make... Rao with the party leader again. Yeah, because in the meantime, I'm going to keep leveling up Ralph and Bruh to 25. I want to check what level Sad is at. Because I could level up Sad still. I was playing through Alpha Sapphire, but I beat Roxanne the other day. No deaths for now. Yeah, for now, bozo. <laughs> Oh, Poochiana's only level 10? Lamau. <laughs> I thought I leveled up Poochiana more. Oopsie. I can move her back to box one. Barley has me quaking? Yeah, you better be shaking in your boots. Put Sad in her own box? Yeah, Sad can stay in her little sad corner. Maybe Gulpin is strong against electricity. Or poison. They do have yawn. They have yawn and poison. That could be kind of huge. Because. Uh, but then I was going to say, you can maybe put Gulpin in for turn one, either poison or make them fall asleep. But then they'd have to tank the first attack. And then, for the second turn, you swap in the ground type, and then they're immune to electricity. Oh, but then that's like wasting a turn, kind of. I'll think about it. I'll put that, like, in my back pocket. You know what I should do? I haven't saved it all today. <laughs> The game has been saved. Let's freaking go. Get back to it. Back to leveling up. Errand. Oh, sorry, sir. Also, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button. You get... That's always scary, the bite. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? Turn the heart button purple today. And if you're already following, make sure your notifications are turned on, that we don't miss a single stream. Who wouldn't want to miss... you got to watch every single day of the peace launch. It's surely going to be... How many days? 
Okay, okay, okay. If I have five gyms left, I'm gonna beat one today. Mm-hmm. That means... Pro oh my God, probably at least, like... At least, like, seven days. Hi, Dio Mio. But this run is gonna be the run, everybody. No more resets. Every reset past this point equals one tear fallen from my eye. My singular eye. Okay, I don't want those stupid Puccianas. They're ruining my XP grind. My Sigma XP grinds it. Let's get to 50 hours? Okay. <laughs> Today might be a short stream, you know? Because I only got five more levels for Aaron. So, you know what? Maybe another hour? Maybe today's stream won't hit five hours for once. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, I got a mute. I beat Roxanne in an hour. Screw you. I got a mute. Hi, my sister hurt her arms. I'll be right back. It's not major. She just needs a band-aid. I'll be right back. She's fine now. 
Crisis averted. I had to play nurse. Also, whenever you buy like a first aid kit for home, make sure it has all the pieces. And buy extras of all the pieces. Okay, she's fine. She just needed a little band-aid. Okay, back to gaming. Because, like, I feel like every single first aid kit will only give you, like, two of the big band-aids. I usually make sure to buy, like, an extra box of just the big ones. Because ain't no way all your scrapes are going to be, like, this big. I used the last big band-aid. So I gotta buy more. Hello, Peason. It's Amy. I challenged somebody else after we battled. I came close, but I ended up losing. Oh, well. Ooh! There's little flowers on the tree now. Cute! Okay, back to it. Ralph Griddle, level 25. Let's go. Okay, now that Ralph is 25, we can start leveling up Gra again. And then once Bra's to level 25, I will level up Combust and make him the party leader again. Wait, all my team is boys! Ew! And during Women's History Month, I'm gonna get cancelled for that. No girls on my team. Girls have cooties. He sends one of the boys? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm one of the good ones. You know what? I guess Magnitude is like 100% accuracy, but it has different attack damage rates. I want to check that, actually, because I never noticed or want to make sure. Magnitude. A yeah, it does have 100% accuracy. Okay. So Magnitude is probably better to have as, like, the opening move. Five more levels. And then it's gym time. Okay, I have to make a notepad for myself that I have to buy more band-aids. I'm gonna do that now. Guys, I'm adulting. Okay, 
band-aids. Okay, it's on my shopping list. Magnet, do not! Uh oh. Oh my god, the screen was flashing! Holy shit! Oh my god. It's like a real earthquake. I hate being in Poochie and a hell. Having to swap out is so annoying. Do you think I used to do this before I had the XP share? How pitiful. Snazzy has an item. Another Ultra Ball, thank you. Man, I really hope I find this vote bait. It's almost been two hours. God damn it. This is almost taking as long as this stupid C dot. Mm. Also, get me out of this pushy and hell. Magnitude 8! You know what I kind of want to do? I kind of want to go to the tunnel that was called like Train or something. But then I'm also scared. But then it would level up Aaron faster. I'm debating. No, it's too risky. I'll stick with what I know. Battling Pokemon. So many stupid Puchianas. Huh, my accuracy fell? <laughs> Watch this. Megan, you know I know. It's glitching my GBA screen, it's so powerful.
instead of going to the tunnel that has all the trainers in it, maybe I can summon past foes to battle. I kind of want to try it. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. What's the worst that could happen? Mr. Stone Birch, Rad Neighbor Brendan. I'm not calling Brendan. Pokemon lover Wally, reliable one dead. Hard as ro what? Hard as rock Steven. Let's call Steven. Hi, Beeson. Have you been to Marville already? You should visit the bike shop and get a mock bike. Then try exploring the granite cave thoroughly. You make a new discovery there. Wait, 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 wait. The granite cave is by the gym, right? I know there was one area. Do for town. Wait, where is it? Petalburg City, Odell Town, Little Root Town. Okay, I'm lost, whatever. I know there was one section in the caves where Sableye is where you can go up with your bike. I know that. Okay, Steven gave me nothing. Elusive Eye Scott. Wait, is he flirting? Howdy, Peason. You know how Pokemon can be found everywhere? Like in the mountains, in the sea, and tall grass anywhere? Just like Pokemon, you can find trainers everywhere, too. As a result, I have to hurry everywhere, too. Busy, busy. Roxanne I can't call. Brawling I can't call. Rose. Oh, Peason, how do you do? This is Rose speaking. I hope you've been well. I wanted to tell you I just won. My Rosalia worked especially hard to get the win. See you again. Wait, can I not battle them? Tuber Lola. What does check mean? Can I battle? It's Lola! Know what I'm doing today? Looking at waves from the beach. Oh, the waves are all sparkly. The sea is the prettiest from here. I'm getting hungry, so bye-bye. Wait, can I not fight them? This is so stupid. That was gonna be my Hail Mary. I'm probably just doing it wrong. <laughs> I'm probably gonna do like a different button sequence to fight them, but... Ah, I'm bugged. I don't need to do it. Bruh, it's just you and me leveling up as normal. I ain't gonna farm XP just to farm. Snazzy has an item. I just realized Aaron is level 20. I can probably start fighting with him now. Aaron grew to level 21. Aaron is trying to learn Roar. Yes, that's so. Oops. Roar makes the foe flee to end the battle. Wait! Okay, Pokemon gamers and chat. 
if I roar, can I just spam that and then I win and don't even battle? Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me. Because if so, that could be so OP. Makes the flow feet to end the battle. I can see how that would work for like an encounter. But for like an actual battle battle? Hmm. If I do swap it, I'd probably swap it for Mud Slap. Hmm. I'm gonna look it up. Okay, it says from Bulbapedia, if Roar is successfully used in a wild Pokemon battle by either Pokemon, the battle will end. In a trainer battle, Roar has no effect. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> I'm double checking the walkthrough. Okay, it has different effects in different gens, allegedly. I don't want it. Honestly, Roar... Uh, I don't want it. I don't want it. It, it seems kind of silly. I misclicked. The GBA buttons are really confusing. Aaron did not learn Roar. Oh well. Oh well. Poor guy cannot roar, only yell. No, no, no. Aaron is gonna get big and strong. Wait, I don't even remember what Aaron evolves into. He doesn't need to roar. Him simply talking will be a roar. We continue on. I, was, I said I was gonna fight with Aaron. I forgot. Should have give XP share too. I'll give it to Sa. Aaron, you're gonna fight. 
summary. Metal Claw. 50 damage. Iron Defense. Defense. Headbutt. 100% accuracy. Okay, Mud Slap still does damage. Okay, I need to do a quick little test. Because I don't know if Steel is strong against Electric types. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Route 110. No. 111? Whatever it is. Down here. That way if we... Okay, not down here. <laughs> That way I can run into an Electrex and Plusles and Minums to see if their electricity does anything on us. Before I go to the gym. Exactly. A Minum. Okay, Metal Claw. Okay, I'm paralyzed. <laughs> Shit. Okay. So now I know paralysis still affects me. Uh oh. Oh no. Metal Claw is not effective against electric. Uh oh. Oh no. Um, I thought it would work. Um, well, am I DOM? Well, either way, Sub's my only like ground, ground Pokemon I have. They're steel and rock. So maybe steel type moves aren't strong against electric. But then but then that would mean electricity would hurt them. Oh no. Yeah, I don't have any Oh well, I guess I do have one ground type move. Well, Oh, I don't have any paralysis items. Oh, I have cherries. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep going. Electric. The moment of truth. Saw? You know what you have to do. Okay, so it's not- I thought it would be highly effective! Oh no.
Wait, I'm wrong? Another Minum. Okay, just so I can, like, practice moves, defense curl. Okay, stop growling. Also, guys, I'm sorry. I totally forgot, but I have to run an ad. I'm not even kidding. I forgot. Click subscribe now. Do it. If you subscribe, you can kill my Pokemon. Isn't that pretty fun and cute? Cool? My whole world is crumbling. Okay. So... If ground is actually not strong against electric, I don't know what this means for me. I don't know. It could be Jover. But they're immune, right? They have to be immune. Uh. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Thunder Wave doesn't affect me. Okay, okay. So electric doesn't work on ground, but it does work on rock. Okay, okay. I got it now. Oh, that's why? Rock throw didn't work as well, because that's a rock, not a ground type. Let's try Mudsport. Electricity's power was weakened. Okay, I think I got it now. And let's try Magnitude. Now, if I'm correct, ground should be super effective. Okay, so it's specifically ground, not rock. Okay, I got it now. I got it. I got it. Good thing I tested this. So then that means errand isn't ideal. Because errand is steel slash rock. And rock isn't as strong compared to ground. Oh no. I've never wrapped my head around the difference between rock and ground. Dude, I thought they were the same thing, but apparently they're not. Okay. Um. So that means I should not bring Aaron into this fight. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center. And see if I have any ground type. I'm gonna go through every single one of my Pokemon and see if any of them are like half ground. You know, I want some half breed Pokemon. Oh my goodness. First, we gotta take away the XP share. Is Nazi a ground type? They're just normal. By the way, it looks like Graveler is going to be our hard tank for this fight. Okay, Aaron cannot go into this fight. Aaron will die. Now I'm going to go through every single one of my Pokemon to see... To see if any of them have ground in them. Water poison. Normal flying. Electric. Grass. Bug. Bug. Normal. Bug slash ground. Okay, okay, let's see. Okay, okay, I didn't realize he was ground. Guys, Ninkata.
Next, normal, water, poison flying, fighting, grass, water, electric, grass poison, poison, electric, bug, dark. Man, good thing I clarified the difference between ground and rock, because that would have been detrimental. So ground is strong against electric, not rock. So then now, I spent, I spent a good amount of time leveling up Aaron when I should have double checked types, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Now we're going to work on leveling up Ninja. <laughs> Ninja my goat. Ninkita for the Winkita? Of course. Okay. Dang, back to work, everybody. Man, that was close to being done today! Shit. Guys, another two hours. Holy fuck. Yes, I swore. Editor, make sure you censor that. Or if you're feeling tired, don't. I don't care. <laughs> God damn it. Holy moly. So I guess during the gym battle, I was planning on spamming magnitude anyway, but that is the only type of advantage move I have now. Well, that was worth 96 XP? Holy moly. We're gonna grind here then. Oh wait, I gotta get the bead bolt. Bolt bead. Ah, I don't need it. I need to level up. Dude, everybody was probably giggling at home. And my type advantage hiccup. Okay, the Pokemon here seem to be worth, like, 40 more XP. I'll be so real. I didn't realize either, and I played Pokemon for, like, 70% of my life. Glad it's not just me. Damn. I really should have checked sooner. I was just being lazy. I was being lazy. I just press attacks and pray. Dude, literally me. Me. Ninja grew to level 8. Let's freaking go. And I think also Ninja can learn Leech Seed. Or Absorb, not Leech Seed. Which could be huge. Not could be, it will be huge. You know what? Since I made that shock and discovery, it's gonna be a long time before Ninkita evolves. Let's go to the bike path. I wanna see what's up there. I'm curious. 
Because now that- oh, my other Pokemon are level 25, I think I should be fine if there's, like, battle encounters. Ooh, Sal's about to level up. So I go to level 26. Ninja go to level 9. Two for one. And learn Sand Attack. Sand Attack is ground, so that's good. The only problem with, um, me making the same, or me making the mistake and leveling up Aaron is now, I'm gonna be leveling up Sauce, so I was gonna be, like, really strong. Okay, now that I know the types, I'm gonna swap outside. I don't wanna, like, be too OP, okay? I'm gonna be nice. There we go. We'll bring in Bruh. Wait, what if I go to the end of the bike path and Brendan is there? Oh no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to go to the bike path. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to. I don't want to. Because the Brendan encounters cook me. We well, you know what? Let's go. Wait, I should heal. I lied. I'm gonna go heal. Because that is muy importante. Buskin party leader. And if we do so happen to run into Brendan again, since he has Mudkip, Shroomish, you're back in. I'm liking that. Everything is good. We're ready to go if we <laughs> run into Brendan. <laughs> to 
with a bike path. I assume the bike path is just gonna be a path to get to the next city, which would be cool. Sorry, you can't walk on a cycling road. It's too dangerous. Please come back with a bike. Oh, I gotta enable my bike. Watch this, bozo. <laughs> I'm in. Route 110. Oh, that's a fight, isn't it? <laughs> um... Can we be friends? It's not a fight. On this cycling road, those riding mock bikes are rated for their number of collisions and their total times. Acro bikes do not qualify for rating. They are too easy to turn, so it's not fair. Okay. Yeah, I have my easy bike. I don't care. I'm a gamer. The best record to date. No one seems to have taken the challenge. There is no record. I'm not changing my bike. Okay, we're in Japan, so we drive on the left. Learning techniques will make bike riding even more fun. There are some places that you can reach only by using a bike technique. Okay, this is a battle. <laughs> Dude, you got me! Whoa, watch it! I get your I guess you're not used to bike racing. Triathlete Jacob would like to battle. He has three Pokemon. A Voltorb! Level 6? <laughs> Bro. Okay, am I supposed to get to this area sooner or something? Another Voltorb? You're so dumb. What are you doing, sir? I wonder what TSA is like in the Pokemon world. Like, do you have to disclose if you have a Voltorb in your... in your arsenal? I would hope so. Ooh, level 14 Magnemite. So he doesn't have just weaklings. Okay, fighting is strong against steel and electric, possibly? Ninja Girdle, level 10. Let's go. You defeated Triathlete Jacob. Whoa, my brakes failed! You got 560 Poké Dollars for winning. Oop. Riding without stopping. My thighs are like rocks. Who, man? Charlie Jasmine would like to battle. Level 14 Magnemite. Another Magnemite. Let's see if fireworks. Super effective too. I haven't caught a Magnemite, so I don't know the type exactly yet. Voltorb. Level 6. Okay, let's try Ember. Combustion is cooking! Magnemites! You got that right. Yes, sir. You guys have been begging for another cooking stream, so I guess this counts, right? You defeated Triathlete Jasmine. I'm worried about muscle cramps. You got 240 Poké Dollars for winning. Hello, sir. Don't panic if your bike's going fast. Try 
Triathlete Benjamin would like to battle. Another Magnemite, level 16. You defeated Triathlete Benjamin. I shouldn't panic during Pokemon battles. You got $640 for winning. I'll keep chugging on without stressing. Give me a shout if you're up to it. New friend. Hello, sir. Oh, hey! You got that bike from Rydal. No, oh, it's glaringly obvious. It says ride on your bike. Rydal, 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 Rydal. Ride, 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 ride. Wait, it's like that one Nickelodeon show. No, Cartoon Network. Ride, ride, ride. Okay, we got a boss. Ride, ride, ride. That name's everywhere. You should ride it around all over the place. It's good advertising. I think he's a fed. Seaside parking. What? This doesn't look like a parking lot, sir. He got me! Yo, you! Can you keep up with my speed? When the guy put it on my Rhino bike, I thought he was gonna call me a brokey and tell me that everybody gets their bike for free from there. I'm glad he didn't. Where do you park in the ocean? Yeah, if you have a boat. Mm hmm. You can't park your boat on land? What are you talking about? Ninja grew to level 11. Let's freaking go. You defeated Triathlete Anthony. Crash and burn! You got 560 Poké Dollars for winning. Easy peasy, a lemon squeezy. Ooh. Ka. <coughs> I breathed in the wrong tube. The triathlon is hard in the extreme. You have to compete the three events of swimming, cycling, and running. Wait, there's a triathlon in the game? Ain't no way. Triathlete Abigail would like to battle. Okay, where's everybody getting these Madden mites? I want one. You know what else I want? New followers, because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click that follow button. Turn that heart purple. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on that we don't miss a single stream. Plus 151. Are the Magnemites sticking to the bikes or something? <laughs> Maybe. That could be it. You defeated Triathlete Abigail. Pokemon battles are hard too. You got 640 Poké Dollars for winning. You know, I like you. Let's have a rematch on Cycling Road. Oh, do I have to call the people when I'm in their area? Like, that makes sense, but... Whatever. How do you like my way- How do you like the way my raven-colored hair streams behind me? I grew my hair out just for that. Wait, are, are they flirting? I thought Pokemon was anti-woke. Oh my god, we're kissing! Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Oopsie. Oh wait, is this the whole road? She leaned over the handlebars for that one? I know, I was blushing. Okay, the bike path? I'll say it kinda lame. I thought there'd be Pokemon on it, but there was no Pokemon. I got scammed. Okay, well, I'm glad I did it, because I think Ninja leveled up two levels. Yeah, they're at 11 now. They went from 9 to 11. 
Not bad. Okay, well... Hmm... Back to grinding, I guess, then. Okay, also, guys, I have to use the restroom. So, we're gonna save the game. And pause my live split timer, even though I lost, like, five minutes because my sister hurt her arm earlier. Okay, I'm gonna write down the live split. 48... 1509.57 just in case I lose it somehow. Okay hey guys, I'm gonna use restroom real quick. Put your favorite emote in the chat. Have fun. I'm back. Who missed me? Tap one. Okay, I'm back in. Getting rid of this silly bike? Because I love walking. Okay, I don't know how much longer I'm going to need to be, like, grinding for, but it's going to be a while. What are the gulping? Yeah, side beam still does work. Okay. Super effective. Gulpin was poison and no record. I don't remember. At least we have more variety in Pokemon that spawn here. That way, I'm not just seeing Poochiana after Poochiana. Maybe I should go back and get the the rare Pokemon. Oh, Peason! Hi there, it's Anna. How are your Pokemon holding up? Mine just won a battle. My Zigzagoon was spectacular, I must say. I wish I could have shown you. See you later. Are they flirting? Yo. Gulpin!
Bro grew to level 25. Bro's trying to learn recover. Recover. Recovers up to half the user's maximum HP. Ooh, that's huge! That's huge! All these moves are interesting. Weakens physical attack. Disables a move. Accuracy only 55%? Okay, that's actually kind of dumb. I'm getting rid of that. I didn't realize the accuracy was that low. Bro forgot to disable and learn recover. Recover is actually huge. We're on the up and up, everybody. Yeah, the Pokemon here are worth more XP. Why, though? Oh, wait, Bra's level 25. I should swap him out. Ninja Grid level 12. Let's go. Let's see, Saws 26, Combuskin 28. Ronnie's 14. Nah, we don't I don't wanna fight with Ronnie. Yeah, I don't wanna fight with Ronnie. He doesn't have strong enough offensive. Would you like a tip related to ninja? Um only if you give me a high five first. Okay, realistically, I probably won't need to use Bra in this fight, so I should just level up Bra anyway. Because for this fight, I'll probably just use, or in the battle, the gym battle, I'll probably just use Su, Ninja, and Combuskin. So, Bra is probably, like, not gonna be used, so I'll just keep leveling up Bra. Why not? I can do that? The <laughs> Okay. I know you're new here, Billy. A high five is peace I to stop, because it's literally a, a hand. Piece of two punch. That's scary. That's not a high five. I don't remember which chat I did at first, but like I, I jokingly will give high fives to chat, and then it started the meta of doing piece I two stop back, and it was really funny. <laughs> but that's like a little joke you guys came up with. The angriest high five of all time. You know what's funny? I was debating if I wanted to disable PSA2 stop because nobody literally ever uses it. But then you guys brought back the high five meta. So it shall stay. What was the tip about ninja?
Dude, Poochian is so annoying. If you have five party, five Pokemon in your party when it evolves, spoilers. Wait, that's a spoiler! <laughs> Here, stop! No spoilers! Does, like, it spawn another Pokemon and fill the sixth slot? Like, what? It is a bug. I see Agnes all over. There was once a spider, a spider's egg nest in our washing machine. It was scary. Like, I don't mind spiders. It's just, I don't want them hatching in the house. Yeah, because like, you know, like when you lift the washing machine lid, there's like a little rim. It was in the little rim. I've never, like, I've seen a few spider nests in my life, all of them being inside. I've seen a handful outside in, like, the garden and stuff. But I've never crushed a spider's nest, because I feel like... Because then you're killing, like, hundreds of little spiders. And that feels really bad. Because we need spiders, they're like bees. Kind of annoying and a nuisance, but you know, we need them. My personal rule with the bugs in the house, if it's a non-scary bug, then you take it outside and let them go. If it's a scary bug, like a wasp or a earwig, then you, you, you put it out of its misery, because those are pests. If it's in the corner, it can do what it wants. Exactly. I saw a daddy long leg this morning. And you know what also I do? Which is kind of bad. If I see a cobweb, I leave it up. Because, you know, the spider web, it's like the epitome of the spider's life. It's their work. It's their art. I don't want to destroy their art. I, I say that, but it's just because, like, I hate dusting. Because when you try and get the cobwebs, like, in the corners or the ceiling, sometimes it falls on you and it's sticky and dusty. I'd rather just leave it. They should leave watermarks in their webs if they're so special. You know, there's probably, like, signature pattern work between certain spiders. There's gotta be a Banksy in the spider world. Ninja go to level 13. Oh my god, it's gonna take forever to level ninja up! It's gonna take forever! Damn, I really thought today's stream could be five hours. I thought I was speedrunning. Ha <laughs> 
Combined spider and banks in my head will not be typing it. Yeah, I don't want to but I don't want to see spanking in the chat room Wait is spanking a blocked word? Let's see block terms. Oh My god, it's not oh my god. Oh my god guys. We're adding spanking to the block term <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious. Wait, did I spell- I think I spelled it wrong. Yeah, I, sp I put a CK instead of a K. Okay, spanking is now a block term. I was here for history? No, 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 chat, you guys discover new block words all the time. I remember the day when I had to block the foot emoji from my chat. Not because you guys are being weird. It's just... Because <laughs> everybody was trying to, like, type the word foot. Like, to be funny. What's my favorite blocked word? <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna say it. It's... It's one of my favorite curse words that if you say on YouTube, even once, you get demonetized entirely. Wait, I need to verify? <laughs> it should be blocked. Oh yeah, it is blocked. It is blocked. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. It's one of my favorite words. I probably only used it like five times in my lifetime. It is one of the C words. But I only use it when I'm like really mad. Or if somebody's, like, being a real bitch, then I'll whip it out. But I've only used it a few times. Like, I've never called it to, like, somebody's face, because that's, like... That's a lot. I'll just say it behind their back, which is worse, but, you know, I don't want to get bopped one day. It's really funny, because I was super sheltered when I was younger, so I didn't, like, I didn't hear any curse word until I was, like, in high school. Like, I didn't hear the word shit until 10th grade. And when I was in elementary and part of middle school, I was convinced that shut up was a bad word in itself. kind of wild it's also because like I only listened to the radio I didn't have any personal music listening devices so of course in the radio you only hear censored versions of songs like listening to music as an adult like on YouTube music with my little headphones I'm like listening to songs now I'm like oh my god there was a bad word there <laughs> Look up Black Eyed Peas, Let's Get It Started. That one shocked me. <laughs> you were one of the kids who thought, oh my god, was a bad word? Oh my god. But what, you're gay now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Nah, I, I understand why people don't like saying God in vain, but it's like, dude, not everybody's religious. Shut up. Th 
The tea in my reception class told me off heavily for saying it. I was four. That's crazy. Uh-oh. My Pokemon's gonna die. Dude, what do four-year-olds know? They're just learning how to talk. I Okay, I do say, oh my god, a lot. I'll admit it. I'm gonna go heal. A word that I should like phase out of my vocabulary though is saying crazy. Like, you know, I'm trying to be woke. I'm trying to, like, phase out certain words, but, like, out of all of them, saying, like, Oh my god, that's crazy! It's so hard to phase out. I can't do it. I can't do it. Because, like, I understand the argument of, like, saying crazy is ableist. But it's, like... You know, I think I have a card. <laughs> I think I have the pants. And, okay, and it's not often that I call people crazy. I'll just say, like, something crazy is, as an adjective. Like, it's rare that I will call somebody crazy. Anytime that I will, what I've been trying to do is instead of, so like, so let's say a chatter says something silly. And instead of saying, oh my god, you're crazy! I'll try to say you're silly. Because silly is obviously more lighthearted and fun. But I just- I can't phase out crazy. It's too difficult. Oh, word that I like! Oh, Snazzy has an item. Uh, no clippers, no clippers. A word that, like, took a long time for me to, like, phase out of my vocabulary was the slang term for schizophrenic. If you know, you know. And it's because, like, my parents use that word all the time, because, you know, they're boomers. And... <laughs> they, like... They never, like, directly called me the slang word for schizophrenic, but they would use it, like, in passing, like, as a joke. So because of that, like, I started using the word. And I used it, like, not a lot, but I used it somewhat frequently when I was, like, a teenager. And then as an adult, I was like, maybe I should, like, stop. <laughs> so, oh my god, Brugger to level 26, let's go! So, like, just in general, like, in the past, like, five, six years, I've basically phased it out of my vocabulary. I've only used it, no joke, like, once in the past year. And it was in private with a friend. And it was me talking about, like, Wait, no, I've said it twice. <laughs> it was me talking about, like, um, how some of my vision problems are, like, schizophrenic. Because, like, it's not, like, a tick, but it's because I have a neurological issue with my eyes. Like, my eyes do this. They jitter. So, like, it's kind of a, it's kind of a symptom, but it's, I'm not, like, diagnosed or anything. So, I, I was using it to describe my symptoms. Oh my god, Ninja Girl level 14! Do it 11 more levels? Holy shit! Fury swipe. Your eyes turn into Game Boys? Yeah, it's wild. I wish I could show you guys. Fury swipe. Rakes the foe with sharp claws. Two to five times. 18 damage per hit. Hmm. Two to five times, so that means on a minimum, it can do 36. But then, it can almost do 100.
You know what? I'll swap it out for scratch. I'll do it. Why not? Yeah, I understand that, like, words, meanings change over time. And I will try my best to be respectful and not use words. Obviously around people or online. I'm skipping this. I don't care. I want to finish my point. Because in person, obviously, like, different friends, different public spaces, like... You need to be respectful to either your friends' individual comfort levels than when in a public space. You have to be more mindful of everybody. So, like, you have to, like, maintain a baseline level of language. Like, you can't be... You can't be dropping slurs in public. And I think the similar thing comes to online. Because, obviously, when you're conducting yourself online, that's, like, potentially hundreds of thousands of people who will see what you say or hear what you say. So, even more so, you should try to maintain, like, a baseline level of... I guess, decency with your language. And, like, the way I try to conduct myself online is obviously, like, don't say anything you genuinely don't want to, like, be clipped or taken out of context. And then also, like, don't say anything that would not be shown on TV. I think it's a good way to, like, figure out what a good baseline morality is when it comes to your language. M morality is not the right word, but like, you get what I mean. <laughs> what channel? Okay, not HBO. <laughs> not HBO. Oops. I saw Snazzy has an item, so I gotta check him. I've never been the type either to like get upset whenever somebody like a friend tells me to like avoid saying a certain word around them because like if somebody is taking the courage to express that something makes them uncomfortable like that takes a lot of like strength and trust in the friendship and if they're gonna vocalize that you should respect it you know if they're friend you should respect their wishes Boundaries are difficult? Oh, dude. For sure. But you just have to make sure that if you ever do express boundaries with somebody, you have to in turn hope that they will respect it, but then also like, try not to get too hurt if they slip up. You know what I mean? Like, nobody is going to change immediately. But you have to acknowledge if that said friend is making an effort to change. What I have noticed when expressing boundaries is you have to do it in a way that forces them to empathize. You, you have to say like, this action makes me feel blank when you do blank. Or, when you do blank, it makes me feel blank. I, this is, like, literally the sentence structure I learned in therapy. Like, you have to explain how a certain action makes you feel. That way, you are forcing the other person to insert themselves into how you feel. And then also, if that person is, like, willing to, like, listen... To that sentence structure you can like help them ex help explain like what they can do to like make it better for you an example that you'll see a lot is um scenario your boyfriend doesn't do the dishes when they get home from marriage and when you come home and say dishes not clean you're like oof because you know that your boyfriend's job is to clean the dishes. So to... Or I guess that's not a boundary, but like... Just an example of like how to use the sentence. You pull him aside be like, Hey, when you don't do the dishes, it makes me feel... Disappointed and annoyed. Because... It is your task... 
and I feel like it's not fair if I'm doing your task and my task. So, to help solve this problem, do you want to change tasks? Like, do you want to do laundry instead of dishes? Or... Because you can state how you feel, but then some people need a little bit more guidance on, like, how to tackle a problem. And you don't necessarily want to bring up, like, icks you have about somebody when you're fighting. You want to make sure you do it when both parties are in a comfortable enough space. You know who might be doing some fighting? The non-subs, because guys, we are five hours in the stream. That was my goal. I want to do a five-hour stream today, but I guess not. So, guys, it's time to run some more ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four dollars just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Where is it? Here. Click subscribe. See if you have a sub available. Also, if you subscribe, you can kill my Pokemon. Don't do it. Don't subscribe. Get boomed. Do, do, do. <laughs> when they are emotionally intelligent enough not to argue when discussing a problem, imagine. I've only been in one relationship, and the guy was pretty chill. I, I should level up Ninja. I should. But Ninja doesn't have any ground type moves yet. Makes me really angry. Don't they Eston? Ground moves. <laughs> Dude, I need to learn Spanish more. I want to learn like more niche words. I want to be able to write an essay in Spanish. I think that'd be sick. I just started my daily Duolingo as you said that. Isn't it kind of late? <laughs> You're almost hitting the midnight mark, man. <laughs> You're gonna miss out on your daily streak. Ninja go to level 15. 10 more levels. Oh my god, 10 more levels? I usually do Duolingo whenever I have to ride on the bus. But the only bad thing about it is that it takes so much of my battery life, I don't get it. Out of all the apps on my phone, it tanks my battery. It must be mining Bitcoin on my phone. Yeah, I beat you to the joke, Billy. <laughs> Tap <Tight> faster. <laughs> okay, asking for a friend, does Duolingo sponsor any streamers? So Snazzy has an item. Q. 
You can be the first one. <laughs> Imagine. Wait, what if I got a, like, the Duolingo costume? <laughs> Wait, that would be so funny. <laughs> My Duolingo. I do the- I do a stream in the Duolingo bird costume. I don't know what I do. I, I'm skipping all these dialogues. I don't care. They're just yap yap yap. <laughs> nah, I don't- it will be a long time before I'll take a sponsor. Cause... How do I say this nicely? Whenever you see a small creator, like, shilling uh, some type of energy drink, or with an affiliate link of any company, you know they're not getting shit. They're not getting nothing. They maybe get $5 per sign-up. It's only worth it to, like, get a sponsorship whenever you have, like, a large enough platform to where you can negotiate, to where you get, like, a flat rate, and royalties. Or sign-up residuals. Because if you're going to be shilling a product for like an Instagram video or a stream for three hours, you need to charge hourly. Because if you think about it, if a traditional celebrity does an ad for like Mountain Dew, they probably get paid big bucks to even have their face on the ad. So all these companies, they're exploiting influencers. Like, especially if a- if a company wants you to, like, make an Instagram video where it takes you, like, an hour or two to make it, to film, to edit, to produce, to come up with the idea. They need to pay you for that two hours of work. They can't just pay you with residuals or royalties or signups. So all you little streamers out there, all you little YouTubers, keep that in mind. You have to charge a flat rate. That's why I don't have any, like, affiliate codes on screen or in my about tabs. I ain't- I ain't taking no deal unless I get a big bag. Or a, a decent sized bag. Cause I- when I was watching YouTube in, like, the 2010 to 2015 era, that was when, like, YouTubers would get, like, cancelled for taking a sponsor. So, like, I have a very, like, anti-sponsor, like, prejudice in me. But now sponsors are seen as cool. What if it was a boba sponsor? Um, I've thought about it. Like, let's say Peason is a big YouTuber or streamer. I would love to do a series where I try every single boba shop in my town. I think that'd be a really fun video. Or, I would love to do a series, because there's a lot of, like, local food places in my area, and, you know, how do I say this? They need a new graphics team. They need a graphic designer. <laughs> yeah, how to dox yourself. Yeah, obviously, I would only do that, like, if I live in LA. <laughs> I can't do it now. <laughs> but, um, I think it would be cool to, like redesign or make like a mural for like a local company. I think that'd be a really fun thing to do and also like an interesting video. Or like trying the entire menu of one boba tea store. That would go crazy. That would be- so oh my god, that would be so much sugar though. Actually, maybe I should not do that. Logo and branding is so important for stories. If it looks whack, I'm put off. I can't like. Oh yeah, for sure. Because that's why if you're going to open any business, you need somebody dedicated for most every single part of the business. Like, you can't have just one person run everything, is basically what I'm saying.
Each function needs somebody with experience. Definitely. That's why, guys, when I open Peace in underscore 17 Entertainment, you need to bring your best skill forward. Magnitude 9! Mine, you're gonna die. <laughs> Dude, what? It's gonna take forever to level ninja up! Oh my god. I might have an A level in business? Holy moly! Keyword might? Well, don't fail. <laughs> now, nah, we have another chatter who's getting a master's in business, so you know what? I think they might have more credential than you, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get phased out. <laughs> nah. Yeah, me streaming is just a huge marketing ploy to find employees. It's a, it's like, it's a lot more effort than like just putting a listing on Indeed. But you know, I'm building real connections. Nah, I'm kidding. In order to hire employees, you need to make money. And you know what? I ain't making money, so I can't hire nobody. I, I do just hope by, like, summertime... I have, like, enough money from selling artwork. Because when I'm planning for April, I'm obviously not gonna leak. But I think this year for Peace and Art, it's going to be paper cuts and stamps, along with paintings occasionally. Because that way they'll be slightly lower price point. Obviously still made by hand. Paper cuts by hand, not by Cricut. So... Hopefully, I would have more sales, because last year, guys, you want to know how many sales I had last year for paintings? One sale. Shout out to men. Mac bought the rainbow painting. Not this one. It was the rainbow chevron one. And it's so cute. They hung it up in their room. Wait, that didn't kill? I missed. Haha, <laughs> it doesn't work. Because, like, hmm. I want to launch a separate channel on YouTube that is just for, like, long-form gameplays of- so, like, edits of, like, old streams. Ninja, go to level 16! Nine more levels, everybody! Nine more levels? <sighs> and, like, for the gaming channel, I want, like, an illustrated thumbnail for every single video. We talked about this last time, but a YouTube thumbnail will be, like, fifty two hundred dollars per minimum. That's the minimum range. So that means... If I'm planning on running a channel that is... Oh, wait, shit! He's flying! <gasps> oh my god! What the hell? Just stop yapping! Holy shit! You know what? You're gonna die. Wait, I just realized Combustion is weak against water. Oh my god. Holy shit. My life flashed before my eyes. Dude, if I lost... If I lost, sir... Huh? It would have been game over! I don't know why I'm yelling. Oh my goodness. Holy. I'm just surprised the water gun did that much damage. Holy.
My life flashed before my eyes. Okay, what do you want? It's Amy again. You called me like twice today. Sheesh, I think she likes me. Dude, imagine I lost Graveler. Imagine. I think that just shows how fragile life is. Guys, text your mom. <laughs> Okay, I need to stop saying text your mom. I don't want them to be a bit because I haven't texted my mom back in like a year and a half. I have my reasons. I can hear my mother snoring. Me too, she's on my bed. We had a lot of fun last night. That's what I meant. <laughs> Automod probably flagged your message as like a link. Because whenever there's asterisks, it means you accidentally put a period or something and it read it as a link. Okay, I don't know who I want to level up. Ninja's only level 16. You know what? I kind of want to fight with Ronnie. I'll, you know what? I'll try one fight with Ronnie. Ronnie, don't die. Because I want to see if Electric is strong against Grass. And I'll do absorb. So it's neither strong nor weak. Okay. That's all I wanted to see. So me bringing a grass type to the gym will do nothing. Nothing. What did you even absorb? Minum's confidence? <laughs> I mean, Minum is a little wimp. I'm not scared to say it. It's super effective. Well, back to leveling up Ninja. So then, that means grass is no longer, or neither weak nor strong against electric. So even if, oh wait, why is Ryan my party leader? Shoot. So even if I bring a Ninkato to the gym, him being grass will not be a disadvantage. I'll be honest, the reason why I like Minum and Plusil is because they're in that one Pokemon animated short. That's so real? Wait, I thought you said you were gonna stop saying real.
I miss. I truly was hoping I could end stream by five hours today. <gasps> no, not the wing goal! Uh oh. I'm getting out of here. I miss Mary. I know. Wait, does anybody have the copy pasta? I'll find it. I made a copy pasta for Mary. Nobody spams it though, which is kind of sad. It's almost like you guys forgot about Mary. Which, how could you? She would have been cooked in this gym, not gonna lie. Yeah, I would not have brought her to this fight. Maybe for sure would have died. I would never voluntarily let Mary die. Wait, no, I did volunteer Mary to die, but like... Like, go into a fight knowing she would die. Brawley's fight seems so far away. But it's the last gym I beat. Ninja's only level 16! Dude, this is gonna take forever! I want to start fighting with Ninkita, but I'm going to wait till Ninkita is level 20. Oh my god, we're going to be here all day! I love Pokemon so much. It's my favorite game. You know, I went in today knowing that it would be like... <gasps> level 8. It would be like 90% leveling up. It's just, there's gotta be a faster way. I know I have one rare candy in my inventory, but I don't want to use it. Because that's just for one level. I'm not going to waste it on a Ninkita. Level 8!
Either way, I need at least one more Pokemon with a ground type move. It is funny because the only other Pokemon that I have that had a ground type move was Mary. But Mary was water, so Mary would have been cooked. Like, literally fried by the Electro Bolts. Ooh, funny number XP! <laughs> KFM, Kentucky, Kentucky Fried Mary. That sounds delicioso. Ever since I've been, like, dieting, and by dieting I just mean, like, no beef, no, or very minimal dairy. Fast food doesn't hit as much. Like, I've been on the Mediterranean diet for about, like, a month and a half-ish now. And I've had Wendy's... I've had Taco Bell. I had Taco Bell breakfast this week and it was pretty good. But like, it didn't hit. Cause usually, when I get fast food, I'm like, oh my God, I wanna keep eating it. But like, I was eating my Taco Bell the other day and I was like, man, this doesn't taste the same. I think my palate has changed again. And when I had Wendy's, I think it was two weekends ago. It was good, but it didn't, like, taste as good as I remember Wendy's tasting. It could be because, like, I've just been having less sodium in general, so, like, I've been craving sodium and sugar less. I don't know, maybe, like, I'm gonna start, like, craving vegetables. That'd be actually really good. <laughs> Yeah, I just need to level up Ninkita. Mainly because I want to see if Ninkita gains any ground type moves. Sub for to level 27. Because right now, Su is the only Pokemon that has a ground type move. <gasps> Ninja go to level 17, my favorite number. I think I'm just going to get Ninkita to level 23. I don't need Ninkita to be level 25. Because. Su? Oh no, Winkle! Uh oh. Because Sa is level 27 now, I think? Yeah, 27. Which is already too high level. But you know what? It's fine. Ain't no way I'm confused. And Sedio? You know what? I'm running. Screw you, Wingle. I'm mad now. I think level 27 is already too high for Sus, so we're gonna- I'm just gonna level up Ra from now on. Ra is my goat. Funny number XP. Broker to level twenty seven. Let's go.
I'm legit so lucky that I caught an Abra and a Route so early on in this attempt. Because if I hadn't, no way I could have beaten the second gym. I would have had to do the strike where I did the third gym first. So this, I think, is the god run. This is, this is it. I wonder if there's a health item that, like, doubles the XP they receive. There's gotta be. This is Dalton. Hear my new song. <laughs> what is he <laughs> Keep in mind, all these people are calling a child. They need to stop. Ay, Dio mio. There's a Pokemon Ranger game? What's that one about? I never heard of it. It sounds like the era of Pokemon Frontier. Which I think is the best season of the anime. You know what else is the best? Um, following the peace in underscore 17 channel. So guys, turn that heart button purple. Follow so you can see me win and absolutely destroy this, this third gym. Mm-hmm. Probably in... Maybe an hour? Dude, I said an hour like two hours ago! I'm sad. Combustion grew to level 29. Let's go.
Ranger is when you tame Pokemon temporarily and use them to help defeat enemies. Wait, that sounds like fun. Should I load that onto my GBA? I think the reason I never played a real Pokemon, like, on my own, is I can't imagine, like, playing this on my own for fun. I'm being serious. That's also kind of why, like, I don't play games off-stream as much anymore, because, like, it's just so much more fun with a chat room. Like, you aren't going to be seeing me on a Saturday afternoon leveling up my Pokemon for four hours straight. Like, I would not choose to do that. Also, if I was playing on my, on my own, I would not do a Nuzzle Hunt. That would, that would just be torture. <gasps> Ninja Griddle level 18. Let's go. You know what? Ninja's level 18, the Pokemon in this area are like 11 to 14. I'm gonna try and start battling with Ninja now. So we're here for the accountability for the Nuzlocke, basically. You guys have to make sure I don't cheat. That's why it's live. thought about like leveling up offline like partially for like an hour every day just for like just to level up but then I was like what if something happens where like a Pokemon dies and it's not recorded like earlier with Sal when Sal almost died from Wingle you guys would not have seen that so I was like you know what I'll just do it on a stream seven eight hour streams I'll do it I'll for the fans <laughs> okay Nin kiddo a level 12 Poochiana Ninkira. Fairy swipe is normal. Leech life. Oh, it tells me the type bottom right. That just occurred to me. Accuracy fell. I'm glad you stream it, cause like, what else am I meant to revise? Revise to? 
If not your VODs? What does revise mean? <laughs> Wait, I think you're using the wrong word, man. Revise means to edit. <laughs> okay, let's see. What should I do now? He lowered my accuracy. So you know what? Leash life. Screw you. Die. <laughs> to study, like, res revise for an exam? I've never heard it used that way. Is that British? Revise for an exam? You learn something new every day. We say- we just say study. Or we say spark notes. Look that up. <laughs> Man, ninja's so strong! Wait, I just realized? I just realized. No matter what. Okay. It doesn't matter if I have Ninja the party leader or some other strong Pokemon as party leader. Because, like, as long as somebody's holding the XP share, they take half the XP. So, you know what? XP share off. I'm disabling it. We're gonna. I'm gonna focus on just leveling up Ninja. Ninja's my goat. Ninja's my streamer. Because now Ninja will level up twice as fast. Easy. Now I'm speed running. Change the moveset order for Ninja. Oh, Sand Attack doesn't do damage. I thought it did. I'm probably thinking of a different move. I know I just said I studied your streams, but Stardew has got a valley right now. Are you gonna play with a boyfriend? A little Stardew Valley date? Okay, so Leech Life did was no neither strong nor weak against Electric. Let's try Fury Swipes. Hit two times. That was neither strong nor weak. exams or else I will fail. <laughs> That's pretty smart. I'm really glad I didn't get- I'm really glad I didn't start getting into gaming until after I graduated high school because dude if I had a little Xbox I would have dropped out. My sister bought a Switch when it came out so in 2017 I was a senior that year. She barely let me touch it which valid because um, the Switch that I have is technically hers. She gave it to me, basically, because she bought herself a... An OLED. I forgot what it was called. She bought herself an OLED last year. But, it... <laughs> There's been a few times where, like, I'll play the Switch and I fall asleep. 
And twice the switch has fallen off my bed and I've cracked the screen protector. I've never, like, dropped the switch. It has just fallen off the bed by accident. Uh, TLDR, I can't be trusted with expensive things. Anytime I get electric, I'll just swap up for sub. Because I don't want to waste turns, therefore time. But anyway, when my sister bought herself the Switch back in 2017, she literally didn't play anything else. She barely did her homework, she just played Smash Bros with her friends. Leech Life is strong against the water. We can't keep finding the Wingles? You know what? Me and the homies hate Wingles. Oh my god. I forgot because he's grass and ground. Holy shit. Hi, Dio Mio. I just can't catch a break, can I? You know what? Screw fighting with Ninja. I'm just gonna grind like I normally did. I don't care. You're getting the XP share back, my guy. We'll be here for a long time. Cause like I can't I cannot risk losing him. I cannot. I can't. We continue on. And I'm paralyzed. God damn it. So annoying. Cause I like I don't want to keep leveling up Saw. I want Saw to sweep the gym, but like not too easily, you know?
me here all day? It's only 3.40 p.m. It feels like it's later because I started streaming an hour early. I knew today's was going to be a long one. It's fine. We're gonna we're leveling up, Ninja, so Ninja can destroy the gym. Ninja, my goat. Watson's gonna get cooked? Who's Watson? Wait, no spoilers! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> nah, it's fine. I literally, in my OBS layers, I have the gym leader's names. I just- I just forgot his name. I'm goofing. I probably wanna go back and get that... Bolt beat, or whatever. You know, I've been grinding for... Two hours more than I thought I would, so let's go back and get Volpe. Because why not? Might as well. We're back here again. Home sweet home. <gasps> no way! That one wasn't effective. Hmm. There we go. Oh, I should have healed Combuskin. My mistake. Grr, Bugina. You know what? Screw you. Running away. I'm gonna go heal my Combuskin. That way we can fight with Combuskin. Now we're good. Combuskin is strong against all the Pokemon here, except for Meryl. But I don't think we'll see any Wingles here.
These fights seem to be going faster? I don't know why. Maybe it's just placebo effect. Or maybe it seems like I'm doing this with a purpose, because now I can get a vote beat. <gasps> Ninja go to level 19! Let's freaking go! Finally! Ninja's trying to learn Mind Reader. What is that? Mind Reader senses the foe's action to ensure the next moves hit. What? Senses the foe's action to ensure the next move hit. So it's kind of like predicting? Oh, no, 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 no! That, okay, I think it means it's 100% gonna... It's like guaranteeing that the next attack will hit. Honestly, that seems kind of dumb. Because I don't have any, like... Super strong attack. But you know what? Reduces the foe's accuracy by hurling sand in his face. Reducing accuracy is kind of DUM, in my opinion. And Mind Reader, since it seems kind of interesting, I'll swap it out for Sand Attack. Because Sand Attack doesn't do any damage anyway, so I'll do it. Why not? Cancel me. Ninja forgot Sand Attack and learned Mind Reader. You know what? I'm bad I'm reading some of your guys' minds, because you know what I bet you're thinking? That it's time for another ad, because guys, we're six hours in the stream. I'm sorry that I made a mistake of leveling up the wrong Pokemon. But you know what? Ninja is almost ready. He's almost ready. So if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. Click subscribe, see if you've got a Prime sub available. Also, if you subscribe, you can kill my Pokemon. Please don't kill my Pokemon. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Also, I just realized I've had no snacks today. I still have my apple chip. I have been drinking water though. But also, like, I'm not entirely hungry. The protein shakes are surprisingly really filling. You're back in. I think realistically, I only need to get Ninkata to level 22. So instead of 23, I'll do level 22. 
Because I am convinced that Sa will sweep just like Mary did. Dot today. <laughs> they think I spent three hours on attempt number one looking for a seat on. They're all over here. Wait, was it actually a C dot? Yeah. You think I would lie and try to bait chat? No, I wouldn't. Finally, when I tab in, I'm not lied to. I would never lie. What am I lied? Kick my desk, sorry. Man, if I didn't revive Combuskin, I'd be cooked. Peace in Edwin here. My Nuzleaf is a force. It won me another battle just now. I can't wait to have a rematch with you. Sorry, I don't know why I made it sound so creepy at the end. Hey, seriously, where's the vote be? I 
I need it. You know what else I need? Ninja to keep leveling up. Who thought I was gonna run an ad? <laughs> Had the non-sub shaking in their boots. That sounded like an ad setup? Yeah, that was, that was the whole point of the joke. I got it down to a science. I'm so good at my transitions. Like, 80% of the time. Eighty percent is an A? No way! Are they really making it that easy for the Zoomers? Back in my day, a ninety-three was an A minus, a ninety-two point nine 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 was a B plus. In my day, a 99.99 was a D letter grade. And I used to walk five miles in the snow. That was my impression of everybody's grandfather. I love the Illumis, they give me so much XP! It's like he's in the room with us! <laughs> I've only had one family relative die, and it was my grandpa. I'm kind of scared for everybody else stops dropping, you know what I mean? Or starts dropping. But I only got one grandma, one grandpa, only got two aunts, one uncle, got a small family. <gasps> Ninja got a level 20, two more! Ninja's evolving, what? I didn't think it'd be this soon. Congratulations! Your ninja evolved into Ninjask. Wait, it has ninja in the name. I didn't even realize that. That's so funny. <laughs> Ninja's trying to learn double team. Let's see. Nin Ninja's double team raises evasiveness. You know what? I don't like it. I ain't doing it. I did not learn double team. Ooh, Fury Cutter! Ooh, two moves? Fury Cutter is also a bug move. An attack that intensifies on each successive hit. Ooh, so it's kind of like Fury Swipe then. Yeah, I'll swipe it out for Fury Swipe. One, two, and poof! Ninja forgot Fury Swipe and learn Fury Cutter. Screech. Three moves? Damn. Screech. Emits a screech to sharply reduce the foe's defense. I don't think I want that. It's fine. Ninja did not learn screech. Okay, wait. Is he still a ground type? Uh-oh. No, he's no longer a ground type! <laughs> um... Oh, no. Oh, 
Okay, so that means all my plans are foiled. I forgot he turns into a bug that flies. But like, anyway, before he evolved, he didn't have any good ground moves anyway. Well, what do I do now? Okay. Since Ninjask is no longer ground, the only ground Pokemon I have is Sa. Uh, no other Pokemon has ground moves. This is actually really fucking bad. Yes, I swore. Okay, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Saw at level 27. Two levels? Honestly, probably five levels more than he really needs to be. So. I'm gonna give up on Ninja. You know what? Fuck Ninja. The Pokemon, not the streamer. I think I'm just gonna go into the gym. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go in with Sa, Bra, Combuskin, and Routes. Ralph. I'm just gonna go full sand. I'm gonna full sand. I'm just gonna go in. Maybe I'll still bring Ninja. Because he still has Leech left, I think, right? Oh, an attack that steals half the damage inflicted. So that's kind of. Kind of an absorb type move. But either way, Bruh literally has a move that heals. He has recovered. So. <laughs> yeah. I have to go to the gym with Sir, Combuskin, Bruh, and Ralph. Maybe I'll bring Ninja. Combuskin has the most HP with 85. Next is Sa. Uh, bruh. Oh, I'm so disappointed. Snazzy has an item. Thank you, Snazzy. Okay, well. I can just get ready for the gym now. Like, actually. I'm so disappointed. I, 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 I truly don't feel comfortable with only one Pokemon that has a type advantage. I'm, like, really scared. But I'm, like, I'm not, like, super duper scared. Seeing how high level Sa is, he should be fine. But I'm still gonna stock up on items. I got 18,000. Uh, I'll buy four super potions. I'm going to see what items I have in my inventory. <laughs> I don't want to overbuy, like, status heals. Oh, I'm not excited for this. Hyper Potion restores 200 HP. That's crazy. Okay, I have one max ether. Three burn heals, three ice heals. I'm going to give my quick claw item to my party leader. Which is going to be Sa. Ooh, prevents stat reduction when used in battle. That's kind of sick. Raises the power of ground type moves. Wait. Actually? Actually? 
because what I did notice whenever I did magnitude with some of the random encounter Pokemon, it didn't one hit KO. So we're gonna give it to Sun. Nice. Because, okay, honestly, he's the only Pokemon that can use the sand, so it makes sense. Okay, so I have most every status heal except for paralysis. I know I have berries, but I kind of want to save my berries. Oh, why did I buy four? <laughs> I don't need four. I'll buy two. I'm gonna double check how many heals I have. Potions, I have 9 regular, 12, 50. Okay, I, I'm fine. I'm like over preparing, but I need I need to win this fight. Okay, I'll rearrange my party whenever we go to the Pokemon Center. Oh, Tango Miedo. Type 1 if you believe in me. <laughs> I need this. Okay, party Pokemon. Graveler, you are my party leader. Combuskin, you are number two. Kadabra, number three. Shroomish, you can go in the box. Snazzy, you can go in the box. Curlia, you are back in. Ninkita can might as well stay on the team. Why not? Okay. I think. Oh no, I'm so scared. Oh no. It'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Okay, to review. The party going into Gym 3. Suck. Holding an item that makes his ground moves more powerful. Combuskin. Bruh. Ralph. Ninja as a last resort. Because honestly, I hate Ninja now. He's no longer a ground type. And I think I will also give Combuskin the strike first move just to make sure he goes first. Because some of the electric moves, like the quick attacks and also the paralysis moves, got Combuskin. So I'm going to give him first strike. Or quick claw, not first strike. Oh wait, a hold on that occasionally allows the first strike. I thought it was 100%. That's so D-U-M. But you know what, Combuskin, you can have it. Okay, I don't think I have any other good held items. I guess berries, but bah. I don't need it. Okay, I am ready for the third gym. Marvel City Pokemon Gym. The gym leader is Watson. The cheerfully electrifying man. Okay. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh no, guys. I'm nervous, but I, I think I should be fine. You know the drill. Go Gamba. Do you think I will lose any Pokemon this gym? Gamba now. Oh my 
my god, we just hit the 50 hour mark. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I'm so nervous. I'll be fine though. Let's see if this battle will take an hour. I'm going in! Hey, how's it going, champion bound Peason? Watson, the leader of Mauville Gym, uses electric type Pokemon. If you challenge him with water type Pokemon, he'll zap them! <laughs> And he'll put them in switch control doors all over his gym. Eccentric. He'll put them in switch control doors? What does that mean? Hey, go for it! You got this? I have faith. Thank you. I have faith, trust in. What is that? Guys, I will not lose this. Oh, it's a wall. Okay. Okay, I do not want to double battle, so we're gonna talk to her from the side. With my charm and my Pokemon's moves, you'll be shocked. <laughs> How shocking. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, I'm, I'm, I sound happy, but I'm generally not anxious. I feel fine. I feel fine. Um, a Metatite? I thought this was an electric gym. What the hell? It's level 17, though. Okay. Is Metatite electric? Ain't no way. But they're- okay, Metatite is fighting... <laughs> okay, okay. I'm swapping out. Bruh, you're in. Mainly because Metatite is like literally floating. And I don't think an earthquake will work. He'll just like float in the air. Okay, I'm fine. Wait, I thought Metatite was fighting. <laughs> Wait, am I dumb? <laughs> am I dumb? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. I forget, because Metatite is psychic and fighting. Another Metatite. I will not change Pokemon. Also, I meant to say, I'm, am I D-O-M, not am I dumb? I slipped up. I'm getting better. Die! Okay, I'm so over-leveled. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I, I just need to win. I need to win. You defeated Battle Girl Vivian. I'm shocked by your power. You got 408 Poké Dollars for winning. Okay, I continue on. Oh! <laughs> the lightning bolts are scary. My electric soul, it'll shatter your dreams whole. Whoa, yeah. Guitarist Kirk would like to battle. An electric? <laughs> but look at me! I have a graveler! <laughs> a magnitude 8! Electric fainted. Your Pokemon get 189 XP. Guitarist Kirk is about to use Voltorb. Oh wait, Voltorb is still electric. Okay. I will not change Pokemon. J just don't explode. Don't explode. You're like 10 levels over? Oh, okay, shut up. The actual gym leader's Pokemon is 20 to 25. Shut up. Shut up. Let me have a dub. He's gonna explode! Oh, he's charging power! E 
easy. J just wait till we get to Watson. Watson is gonna be the real troublemaker. You defeated Guitars Kirk. That was plugged in, amped up, overdriven, electric man. You got 544 Poké Dollars for winning. Okay, I continue on. What happens if I step on this? What? Okay, that's kind of sick. Oh, okay, so it blocks the walls. Wait, 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 wait. I see a potential double battle. Oh, I can't go that way, damn it. Um. I guess I have an unavoidable double battle then. That's kind of an L. Bowie, oh, come me! This gym's got puzzles. Isn't it fun? Not really. It's kind of anxiety-inducing, not gonna lie. Youngster Ben would like to battle. And he sent out a Zig Zagoon. Normal type. Okay, I should not waste my magnitude. I'm gonna go rock throw. Dude, I'm so overleveled. <laughs> Um, guys. Youngster Ben is about to use Boopin. He didn't die. What is good is that my heart is not pumping like the other gyms. I feel calm and collected. I feel confident. Even though I say I'm scared, I feel fine. I'm not scared. Saw is gonna sweep. It's no fun to lose. You got 272 Poké Dollars for winning. Oop. Okay, watch this. I'm going to avoid the double battle like a pro. I love shiny things. Bug Maniac Angela would like to battle. He sent out Illuminis. Illumis. Okay, why aren't there more electric Pokemon in this gym? What if- Okay, I was thinking about this earlier. Like, what happens if like, what happens if, like, on the sign, they just put the wrong thing on purpose to debate everybody? Like, that'd be such a funny prank, right? Like, they say, oh, my gym is electrifying, but then they only have, like, water Pokemon? Eh, but if they did that, they'd probably get bad Yelp reviews. A Volbeat? I'm so jealous. I want one. A Vol- wait, I want to see what it looks like. Whoa, why'd he shake his ass? Holy moly. <laughs> Wait. Does Illumins evolve into Volbeat? <laughs> Volbooty. No, the good thing was right! Uh-oh, this could be really bad. Holy shoot. Oh, ba 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 It's a gender difference? Oh, okay. So it's like the Nidoran Nidorino? Saw is confused. I'm gonna swap in Combuskin, cause why not? Ember. Die. Dude, I'm so OP. I'm just that cool. Yeah, 
You defeated Bug Maniac Angelo. Oh, my eyes are frazzled. You got a thousand and twenty poker dollars for winning. Yeah, Sasha should be fine. I get so nervous. I trained under Watson. There ain't no way I'll lose easily. Watch this. I bet you're gonna take this L. Guitarist Sean would like to battle. He sent out Voltorb. Magnemite. Magnemite is steel and electric. I'm <laughs> jeepers. Oh jeez, Rick. I'm gonna change out for Combuskin. Because Combuskin is my tank. Oh wait, and the the, the 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 double kick was very effective against Magnemites. I remember on the bike road. Double kick. Easy. The bus grew to level 30. Let's freaking go. Ninja grew to level 21. You defeated Guitar Sean. Unplugged and turned off. You got 544 Poké Dollars for winning. Okay, I've defeated all the encounters in the start, so let's heal up! Man, Saw is down 30 HP. I'll give him a Super Potion, why not? Oops. I have to go to my bag, actually. I know what I'm doing. Okay, Saw now is full HP. I'm ready for this fight. Oh, Tango Miedo. Wait, what? Oh, dang it. What the hell? Oh, was it really that easy? <laughs> I've given up on my plans to convert the city. I have. And so I put my time into making door traps in my gym. Oh? Now what are you doing here? What's that? You say you've gotten past all my rigged doors? <laughs> now that is amusing. Then I, Watson, the leader of Marville Gym, shall electrify you! Watson would like to battle. He sent out Voltorb level 20. Okay, Voltorb had that one move that did like 30 damage. Okay. I don't think Magnitude will one hit KO. Wait, Mud Sport does damage and then it also lowers the like power of electric moves. Defense Cruel increases my defense. I think First off, increase defense. Now, one magnitude. <laughs> Why are you using a ground type move, you silly billy? Magnitude nine! <laughs> okay, 
Okay, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. Voltorb fainted. You gained 220 XP. Leader Watson is about to use Electric. Will I change Pokemon? No. I will not. Now, the only moves that Electric can do that can do damage to me is Quick Attack. Otherwise, I'm immune. So, Magnitude. Okay, Saw is two levels higher than- or five levels higher than he actually needs to be, but it's fine, it's fine. You gain 220 XP. Leader Watson is about to use Magneton. Magneton is steel and electric. Will I change Pokemon? No. Magneton level 22. Magnitude. Okay, okay, okay. That was super effective. Even though, like, magnitude is, like... Or magneton is floating. Why do I say magnitude? Okay, I'm gonna heal just to be safe, because he did do the sonic move. And that did, like, 20 damage. Okay, the potion would have... He would have done that anyway. Magnitude. You can take the L! Sagrid, a level 28. Leader Watson is about to use Manectric. I don't know who that is. It's this guy. He's from Detective Pikachu. He's the jerk A cab guy. Magnitude. <laughs> Why are you howling, you silly Billy? Do you not see me? Saw, dude. Magnitude 7? No way. I'm too powerful. I'm over leveled slightly. Slightly? And I had an increased ground attack item. Why was I scared? Oh no. And you guys say I'm bad at Pokemon. Manetric fainted. So I gained 432 XP. You defeated Gym Leader Watson. <laughs> Fine, I lost. You ended up giving me a thrill. Take this badge. You got 2,400 Poke Dollars for winning. You received the Dynamo Badge from Watson. With the Dynamo Badge, Pokemon can use Rock Smash out of battle. And it will make your Pokemon a little bit faster, too. Hmm. You should take this, too. You obtained the TM-34. That TM-34 there contains Shockwave. It's a trustworthy move that never misses. You can count on it. Oh, it's over. After six hours, all I needed was sad, dude. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Whoa, you're electrifying. You've powered the door open. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> okay, I will admit, I will admit. Saw being level 27 going into it? Kind of a bit too high. I mean, okay. I did have him at level 25, as I promised, but then, like, I had to battle with him, so... Guys, I'm so good at Pokemon. <laughs> okay, it did feel a bit underwhelming, but... Some of the encounter Pokemons weren't electric, so I guess that means in future gyms, there might be more varied, like, Pokemon types. So then that means whatever, like, following Pokemon I need to bring in can be other types, and that's totally fine. So, I think the strat of, like, going into gyms, I need at least one or two type advantage, and then the others just need to be, like, 
high enough level to where they can have high HP levels. That way they can just tank if need be. So, yeah. Holy moly. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Did I lose any Pokemon this gym? No, I did not. You know what? I'm really happy to see we had no doubters. Thank you. 100% Believers is so rare on the Peace and Channel. At least you don't have to grind as much for the next one, question mark? I mean, it depends on what, like, type Pokemon I need. So... Okay, guys. I'm gonna pause here for today. Mission accomplished. Third gym beaten. We're at 50 hours, so that means for this attempt, we're about 20... <laughs> we're 25 hours into this attempt. Holy moly, I did it! Okay, so, to review, live split, stop the timer. Okay, I gotta write down the time. 50, 50 hours? Okay, so what I learned is that today's stream could have been like three hours shorter. I did not need to level up my secondary Pokemon as much as I thought it did. But you know what? You guys enjoyed the ride. So, to review... The end of Peace Lock Day 7. I caught one Pokemon. I caught an Illumis. Within six hours, I leveled up two Pokemon that I didn't really need to level up. I'll take the L. But I beat the third Marvel Gym Leader Watson with only one. No, I did swap in Combuskin with two Pokemon. And that's pretty cool. Oh, wait, no, three Pokemon because I swapped in. I lied. With three Pokemon, it was with. It was with Graveler, Combuskin, and then Kadabra. So, what I learned from that gym is type advantage is huge. So I don't necessarily need to get my whole team up to the proper level. Also, with this gym in particular, I was overleveled. Like, Sal was five levels more than he needed to be. But that's because I chose to grind with him when leveling up. So, from this point on, I need to stick to the level cap. Even though I don't have, like, an official level cap, I need to, like, stay within, like, and not be, like, so OP. But, a clean, effortless gym, only using one heal, not too bad. So, when we pick up Peace Log Day 8, we are going to be checking out the new gym, seeing what lies ahead in the tunnel with all the trainers in it. That is the plan. So, thank you for watching. Day 7... W day if you <laughs> wait day seven a W day Okay guys I'm done the stream went on a lot longer than I thought it would I'll be honest Wait 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 watch this watch this Watch this finally Watson is on the board three gym leaders beaten let's freaking go Okay I'm gonna verify I'm gonna save my game one more time, just to be safe. Yeah, officially in this game it says 25 hours and 17 minutes. Okay, I saved the game. Dang. Minus six hours, am I right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Type one if you're enjoying the peace log, be honest. Hmm, what music do I want to listen to today? Ooh. Cooking happy music to cook like a chef. I like happy. Dude, look at this shiner. It looks a lot worse on camera. Like, it looks super red, but in, like, natural light, it looks, like, unnoticeable. Okay, guys, you know the drill. Calligraphy time. Use your channel points now and write your name. We did get a resub today, so we get to break up the rich people journal. Good night, everybody. Yeah, have a good night, Billy. Thank you for watching. Good luck with your exams. We'll see you next time, man. I think I'll I'll think I'll do the peace lock again tomorrow, but tomorrow um, I have an appointment in the morning. So that means stream will probably start at 11 or like 11.30. Because my appointment is literally at, like, 10.45. So. And that was, like, the earliest time I could get. Because the nurse was like, 
we can either do like 3 p.m. two weeks from now or 11 o'clock next week. And I was like, let's do the 11 o'clock. It's a phone visit, so nothing major. Also, second stream in a row where I didn't lose a Pokemon. That's huge. That's, ac that's actually huge. <laughs> Oilers, thank you for holding back. Thank you for redeeming, Electra. Oh my god, I'm flipped. The camera isn't working. Grr. It works. Oh yeah, that's not a leak. That's <laughs> Whenever I do the YouTube videos, I make timestamps for the actual video. So I, I write them down on my note cards. I thought it was a leak. Because I, <laughs> I have a note card that has all my YouTube videos for the next two weeks. And I was like, uh-oh. Talking about YouTube. Um, new video. Click the link. Go watch it later. I tried drawing Pokemon from memory. Also, you guys want to hear something crazy? The video that went out last week... The, if you get last, you get banned. It's now my most viewed video on my YouTube channel. 300 plus views, which is wild. 300 views? That's crazy for a piece in video. I guess the normie crowd likes it. Overcooked music. Ew. Doo -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna make a new pin check because we're not playing Pokemon anymore. There we go. YouTube video. <clears throat> Once again, thank you to Kobobo for the 20 month resub. I appreciate it. With Prime contributing to the Kill Pokemon Fund. How evil. Now for Brokies. If you want me to write your name, all I must do is use your channel points. And I will write your name.
Oops, that R is touching. Uh-oh. Do we have anybody else? Use your Chanel points and I will write your name right now. Y'all got 10 seconds. Dude, this looks so bad on camera. Guys, I'm done. Hi, Alex. Can we get some yo's? Man, you clocked in so late. <laughs> Hello. Oops. No, you're fine. I get the worst pimples on my nose? Dude, I don't... Apparently... Oops, wrong scene. Omega Law. We're not playing Pokemon. Don't worry. <laughs> Hi, Alex. They're painful? Oh, dude. You ever get the pimples, like, inside your nose? Like, in your nostrils? Those, I think... Or karma for something I've done really horrible in my past life. Like, why why do they do that to me? I know, like, different spots in which acne will spawn on your face means different things. It's either, like, hormonal or, like, your diet or stress. And I think nose is stress. <laughs> I gotta look it up again. Wait, actually, I'll look it up right now, actually. I don't want to spread mis misinformation. Okay, let's see. Pimple location meanings. Okay, there's a whole bunch of facial maps. Okay, hairline slash temples. It's irritation from your hair product or makeup. Right here. T-zone. Wait, so your forehead, nose, and chin. Oily skin. I have such oily skin, but my... My face washing routine actually helps a lot. If you get it on your cheeks, rubbing or friction from your pillowcases, ooh, that's another big one. I started like doing moisturizer, like cleaning my face before I go to sleep, like right before I go to bed. And I've been noticing a lot less on my cheeks. Like this, this one's a scar from like, this, this has been here since November. And then jawline, like here, hormonal changes. Wait, I have like, I have like one right here. <laughs> Okay, so if you got it on your nose, then it's oily skin, which I do have. Like, you'll see me touching my nose throughout the day. I try my best to stop, but it's like, I can't. You get it on one specific spot on your nose? Hmm. Maybe you're a witch! I just realized March is almost over. We got six days left. Uh oh. <sighs> okay, I don't think I'm gonna beat the peace lock by April. It's not happening. Oh okay, yeah, I gotta figure out what I wanna do for April Fools. Which is gonna be a totally serious stream. No jokes on April Fools. Serious stream, just like last year. I have like three things that I'm deciding between. I'm not gonna tell you guys. Allison, I need to be doing more just chatting streams because for the YouTube channel, like I'm editing down past streams. And I'll be honest, I only have like eight more streams to edit. So that means I need to be doing more just chatting streams. Because for my main channel, YouTube, I definitely want it to be, like, half gaming and then half just chatting. Because I don't, I don't want it to be too gaming heavy. I don't want gamers watching the channel. I want peace and enjoyers. Okay, I'm done. Guys, I'm done. We're done stalling. I'm tired. I'm also hungry. You guys can't hear it, but my stomach has been grumbling for the past, like, 15 minutes. Like, 
When I was beating Watson's ass, I was getting hungry. Not for blood, but for food. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. I would like to thank you all for watching. Any chatter slurkers? Thank you for hanging out for this... Seven hours. Ain't no way. Thank you for the resub. I appreciate that, Katie. Wait, we get to write your name now. That's pretty sick. For four months of tier one? Wait, you should have a new badge in chat. Maybe? Possibly? Wait, did that count towards the sub goal? No, it didn't! <laughs> no! Thank you for the resub, Katie. Shit! Two more Pokemon to kill. Or two more subs to kill a Pokemon. That's so evil. Can we get some ladies in chat? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> How you doing, man? Okay, I'm gonna make your name fit, Katie. I'll do it. Just for you. I'm doing it. I'm doing pretty good. I'm hungry, actually. But I have some salmon in the fridge. It's gonna be bussin' and bussin' on God on God. But I'm feeling good. I beat the third gym in Pokemon. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. My confidence is through the roof. You're the only person I sub to because you make good content? Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. I feel more special now. I appreciate that. I feel- okay. I'm not like- I don't think my shit is- Content, not shit. I should not say shit. I almost said slob. <laughs> I- okay. I think on a scale of A to D, I'm like a- I'm like a B minus. If you give me, like, a thousand dollars production budget, we'll have some bangers. But for what I got, my Alienware, my DSLR, my... Dude, I have a Blue Yeti. D okay, be honest. Does it sound like I'm using a Blue Yeti? But, I don't know. I try my best. Above anything, I just try to have fun. Because the way I see it, if I have fun, then you guys indirectly have fun. Because I have come to learn. You can't tell us Blue Yeti? Yes. That means I'm an audio pro. Oh wait, your name's not gonna fit, Katie. Okay, well the important part fit. Wait. <laughs> Do you put 58 because you're 58? Got him. What was I saying? Uh oh, I've come as I've grown older. I don't know why that is related. But I know for me personally, when it comes to like YouTubers or streamers, I just like watching people who are happy. Like, even when I go to sleep, I'll put on like more cheerful, like, videos. Because I just like the sound of, like, people laughing. That's why, like, I I've noticed in, like, the past two months of streams, like, I've been giggling more. More riffing, more rapping. I think it's because, like, I'm, I'm genuinely feeling happier in my day-to-day. -day. I don't know why. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I have seasonal depression. Nah, I got that full-blown de espresso depresso. But not gonna lie. Whenever it is sunnier outside, I do feel better. Because on the days where it's rainy, I don't go outside. Because I don't want to get wet. Because it's, like, not fun to get wet that way. In comparison to other ways. <laughs> what? Like, I'm- it's still- it's 5 o'clock. I might go for a walk. It's, like, really sunny out right now. Anyway. 
I've been feeling happy. I'm glad you guys are enjoying what I do. Okay, now I am done. Once again, thank you, Katie, for the four-month resub. I appreciate you. Thank you. Two months away from a six-month bath. Getting there. Okay, guys. I'm wrapping up now, because we're seven hours in, and I'm really hungry. So, I hope you guys had fun today. Any chatter surfers, thank you for hanging out. I will see you guys tomorrow. Probably at like 11 or 11.30, because I have an appointment tomorrow. Big business deals. So, if you guys want something to watch right now, new YouTube video, I try drawing Pokemon from memory, fun stream, <laughs> really, honestly, really embarrassing YouTube video. <laughs> guys, I have an art degree, I have an art degree, okay? I didn't major in illustration though, I'm learning. And then, if you don't want to miss a single stream, make sure you're following my Twitter. I usually post literally a minute or two before I go live. That way you can hang out in an offline chat, be first, type first, feel like you're important. Seriously, thank you guys for watching. I know I'm not the best gamer, but at least I have fun doing it. Okay, you guys have a good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Thank you for watching. Also, you may notice it. You have a good night, Katie. Once again, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Um, you may see me throw the stream like right on my little note card, because like I'll write down, I'll write down like timestamps of funny stream moments, or like if I say a funny joke, and I wrote down the timestamp 427, because that was when I, that was when I kissed another cyclist on the bridge. <gasps> I wonder if anybody clipped it already, but I will. Cause that was really funny. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go eat something. This is your final minute. Do you guys have any final words? Any final words? <laughs> Man, I think tonight I'm gonna go for a walk, get my steps in. And then maybe play some more Supermarket Simulator. That game is so addicting. Oh my god. I would... Okay. I would play Supermarket Simulator on stream. But I legitimately cannot play that game and talk at the same time. It's very difficult for me. Like, I was playing that game as I was chatting with my friends on Discord last week, right? And, dude, I cannot stock the shelves. <laughs> I was too busy yapping. It's like a real job. You gotta be, like, dialed in. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your night.